All right. Hi, I'm Brenda. If you're new here, uh, live show runs about three hours. Just so you know, feel free to ask me anything you want. I'll answer all kinds of questions. I got all kinds of makeup, all kinds of knowledge. <laughs> uh, tonight, I'm going to show you Ipsy, the Glam Bag, and Glam Bag Plus, uh, the Allure Beauty Box, Boxy Charm. I've done a couple, picked up a bunch of items from CVS, so I'm going to show you that too, and possibly Macy's. And I did put on some foundation to start just because I wanted to have something on. Got on the Dior backstage. Oh shit, my sticker on oh, no. up. Uh, 3WP is the shade I'm in. We're going to do that. And we're going to have chit chat about all kinds of good stuff. All right, Ipsy. Ipsy does, thank you, Ipsy. <laughs> Ipsy sends me over the glam bag and the glam bag plus to share with you. I purchase a Glam Bag Plus, and then when it's the um, Glam Bag X, I also get that, and that's like quarterly. If you want to subscribe to Ipsy, check out the link below. Go on their site, and I'll tell you everything. I know some things are changing. I believe they're going to be adding in um, like a shipping cost or something like that. So you might want to look into it, because I know I got an email recently where it was <clears throat> pay for the year of like $300 and then there was going to be none of that extra added shipping and something like that. So I just did it for the year. I thought I was already doing it for the year, but there we go. Hey, Caitlin. Hello, Miss Teresa. Happy St. Veronica. How are you doing, dear? I'm kind of off kilter here. There we go. It's a little, a little better. <laughs> All right. Ipsy. What do we got? All right. Cute little bag. Wait, this one has like a little orange slice on it. What is this month called? Uh, June. Show your colors. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, what do we got here? Stock up for summer at the Ipsy shop. When they are summer state of mind. What is this? What is this called? This one? No, it's got to be show your colors. Yeah, Ipsy show your colors. Okay. All right. Okay, this is the regular little glam bag, like I said. I've actually never tried this, so I'm, I'll try it. Uh, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. In the regular glam bag, you get kind of more like deluxe sizes, but you do get some full size occasionally. That's a good sample. I mean, hell, you can get a lot of uses out of that. What am I missing here? Then Miss Marsha. Hello, Marsha. I know, Veronica, you believe how long it is? It's crazy. It's like down to my boobs. <laughs> oh, definitely somebody picked up your pride makeup today. Absolutely. I think I said hello to Teresa. I think I said to look all my ladies. All right, what else we got here? Uh, Frosé. Sip and scrub. What is this? Okay, okay, it's a body scrub. <laughs> I was like, oh, I hope you're not drinking this. Okay, it says, blessed by a Buddhist monk to inspire pride and confidence. Oh, and this is a mini size. Okay. Yeah. Cool packaging. Oh, and actually it does have like a little resealable thing, I think, on here too. Which that'll be good. All right, I'll try it. A little body scrub. Right on. Uh, we've gotten several lippies from Bellin Argent. I'm sure I just destroyed that name. This is for Wednesday's pink. Oh, it's a tinted lip balm. Okay. Nice purple back in there. No, oh, just lip balm. It's lip balm. <laughs> no scent. Even better. All right. Little itty bitty tart man eater mascara. That's a good one. And then bad habit. Wake Things Up Matcha and Mint Morning Cleanser. There you go. So that's a good idea of what you could get in your mini glam bag. Right, so there's the mini. Is there, um, is there anything in here I was going to use? No. Okay. Put that down below. Okay. Then they actually sent over two extras also. Which is good because I already opened mine. Uh, the Refreshments Dazzling Five Blade Razor Kit in Pink Bubbly. I don't know if I can get this out of here. Oh, it's sealed. 
These are nice razors. I use them. It gives you like the whole little the kit, the thing to put on the shower wall. A couple extras. And then this cool little, it's actually a ring light. And then it has a little button on the back. And it does give you three different settings. It's cute. And it does have like, you know, you got to charge it from like a little USB. And this is called, where did I put it? <laughs> no, it's not called where did I put it. Uh, it's called the Pixie Light 2.0. A small camera or beauty light for your smartphone, tablet, or laptop. Oh, it's cute. Yeah, definitely. I put it on the phone. It did work on that. So. All right. Uh, this is what Ipsy sent me in the Glam Bag Plus. I like these little bags. This one's cute with the little popsicles on it. Let me see him. Miss Laura. Hello, girly. Terry, how are you? Happy Saturday, Patty. Hello, hello. Oh, my boxy. It was all right. Yeah, I definitely got the plum serum, but I do love it. <laughs> I love the glow recipe. Um, Got hip dot, six little mini baby sponges. I'm pretty sure those won't cost $65 like that last batch <laughs> came in. Always down for some Dr. Brandt. Uh, triple antioxidant face cream. This has got to be like 60 bucks plus. Dr. Brandt's not cheap. And then we are going to play with some of this makeup in here. Uh, Ciate London. <laughs> this is the cranberry palette. Okay, yeah, the, the palette itself is cranberry. I, I don't know what... And, the, and this shade is cranberry. <laughs> but other than that, it's not really cranberry. I was kind of bummed when I opened it. I'm like, oh, okay. And we all know Ciate can be hit or miss, so we're, we're just watch it and we'll play with it. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, well, I was going to say it's a halfway decent brush, but not really. <laughs> uh, short Shadow Brush LR105 from that LaRousse, L-A-R-U-C-E. These just always have the worst cuts on them. I mean, even for a, just a shader packer brush, it's... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, here's one I haven't heard of. Dr. Zenovia. Hormonal Dermatology. All right. Essentials. Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Serum. All right. Let's get down for some hyaluronic acid. Oh, cute bottle. Airless pump. like that. It's very heavy. It's actually got, I, li I like weight weighty stuff. That's one fluid ounce. Firms, nourishes, plumps, and tones skin. Cool. So I'll definitely try out the skin here. All right. I'm going to keep the Ciate out. Because <clears throat> that we're definitely going to play with. Get the razors and the other stuff down below. Ugh. And I dropped the razors. Siate's shadows are totally hit or miss. Hello, Hail Shara, Miss Rosie. Hello, Jennifer. Everybody roasting out in Cali. <laughs> well, it looks like the Midwest and the South are just getting cooked. And we're over here in Connecticut. Just like today was, <laughs> it was actually, I'm about to go, Greg, it's actually a little cold. It's weird. Windy as hell. It was raining right before I came out. I'm like, oh my God. Uh, Galactic. This is my bag, so I did add two items in too. But this was one of my items I received. Uh, Galactic Metallic Shadow Stick. And I actually got a really cool looking like greenish blue. Yeah, that's pretty. Very creamy. That's a pretty shade. All right. Then another brand I've never heard of, I don't think. Araceli. It's a blush palette. Dahlia and Layla. Oh, it's in here. Oh, you get eight grams of products. That ain't bad. Contents made and assembled in China. Cruelty-free vegan. 12-month shelf life. 
That's a pretty blush. Nice little peachy blush. That's actually not a highlighter. That's actually a lighter peach. Well, that's actually like a shimmer peach to it. Don't worry. We'll, we'll play with all this. Oh, get the boxes out of here. Uh, Complex Culture Sun Bath Baked Bronzer. I almost put bronzer on, too. I'm glad I didn't. Just regular. Yeah, that's really light, but we'll try it. Can't hurt to put it on my face. <laughs> okay, this I know I purchased. because It was a different shade than the last one. I really screwed that up. Uh, Illa Mosque Beyond Liquid Highlighter. This time I picked up OMG, which is a much lighter shade. The first shade I picked up was just way too dark. I mean, you can see that. That's probably way too light, but <laughs> you, you make it work one way or another. Put that over there. Get that off my finger. I'm definitely using this as an eyeshadow tonight. Uh, this is by Beauty Vault. It's called the Plum Palette. Now, you've heard me talk about Beauty Vault. They've got their stuff over here. They even have a liner that was in. They have a great liquid liner. It was like in the drop shop thing for like five bucks. I mean, that sucker's waterproof. You will need double action eye makeup remover to get it off. But this looks really pretty. And if you want, you know, look into Beauty Vault. I have several videos. There's the brand. V-A-U-L-T-E. Just regular beauty. And I got another Dr. Brand. <laughs> so, one of mom, you know. Oh, I didn't, oh, I guess I think, did I pick this? This was one of my picks, too. Uh, Mitchell, I picked it and pay for it. I know I paid, paid for the Ella Mask. I don't know why. I, Mitchell and Peach English Leaf Body Oil. I always love a body oil. So I think I have one of these upstairs. I know I purchased something, though. I definitely purchased the Ella Mask. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of that, that, we'll keep that. So there you go. That's the Ipsy, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for June. Show your colors. Like I said, you want to check them out, feel free to go down in the box below. It's totally up to you. Looks like they're having a red, white, and beauty sale. Stock up for summer, uh, June 26th to July 5th. There you go. So we're going to definitely have to check that out. Love a good sale. You never know what's going to be there. All right, Allure. Now this comes with the book with the prices, actually. Let's still have the prices on it. <laughs> okay, I laughed when I saw this. When I opened this, I laughed. Okay, Seattle, London. Cute packaging. Like, oh, a little cool everyday vacay palette. And I here's the back of the box. So on here, well, you see how tiny these are. It literally says that the four bigger pans are cheek colors. I'm like, okay. Uh, I don't know if I had the... It's got to have the sizes on here somewhere, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to read them on here. It's got to be on here. They're tiny. Let's just put it that way. All right. <laughs> this is green. I haven't swatched. This looks green. This is a highlighter. And this might be able to be a blush. And then the little... I was like... Cheek color? Who the fuck is using this as a cheek color? So we're gonna we're gonna swatch that too. That goes for thirty bucks. Give it on a little. Okay. Uh, what was this? Mana Kadar. This came in where the bullet was touching the top of the cap because it was hot out. So literally, all I did was just push it back in because it was pulled out of you know the bottom here. So I just shoved it back in. It's just clear lip balm. The Mana Kadar is, let's see here. Where are you? $19. Oh, it's a lip scrub. Okay. Which shows I'm, I didn't even use it. 
Does it feel scrubby? I guess it feels a little scrubby. Yeah, I'll try it. It's a little pricey, though. A little pricey on that. Love me some belief, too. Uh, Aqua Bomb Hydrating Body Moisturizer. This is a one ounce. Full size is $30, but you do get 10.13 ounces. So that's a big bottle. No, but this is a good way to try it. So it looks like... Okay, it's just a tube. Yeah. Love belief. <laughs> Love their products. What else we got in here? Uh, Symbiosis London Tightening and Resplendent Eye Mask. Okay. This is full sized. This is $93. Hey, you bet your ass I'm going to try this. $93. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Uh, what can, what's the name of the brand? But wait, it might say Botanic Beauty. Let me find this in here. Uh, okay, th this is the name of this. Where is it? <laughs> Over here. Pore minimizing removes dead skin cells, provides a smoother, youthful looking complex. It's called Rain Drench Serum. How much was that? $24. Everything I think now in Allure is full size because this is one ounce and that's the one ounce price is 24 bucks. Okay, cute little bottle, cute packaging. Well, actually, no, because the belief wouldn't be full size. Then the Sephora Smooth and Blur Primer. I've never tried this, but nice little sample. Uh, full sized is 16 bucks for an ounce. And this is five mils, so it's enough to try it. Yeah, and that's the Allure Beauty Box for June. Summer Fling, is it's called. That can go upstairs, that can go upstairs. The primer, definitely the eye stuff, and the lip balm. All right. What a mess. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm not crazy, Veronica. It was chilly today. <laughs> yeah, I saw Laura down south and in the whole Midwest. You guys are getting fucking hammered with 100 degrees plus. It's probably in the 60s outside here, too, because I don't think the air conditioning has been kicking on. Marsha wants to know, did anybody else get the ABH new palette? She got hers today. She used it. Or she used a lot of points. Definitely keeping it. She can tell just by looking at it. Oh, the Dr. Brandt is $64. Your brush ain't fit in there for your face. <laughs> Alien brush. <laughs> that was the Allure box. Wow, your car said 57 degrees today? Damn. <laughs> Why the hell am I paying to keep the air conditioning? <laughs> oh my god. Let me show you the other crap. Oh, I can get these out of my way too. Bummer, but score for the rest of you. Otsi, Otsi, this one. Th this I only need one pump of, by the way, of this cleanser. <laughs> one pump is enough. They put a thing on Instagram, they're going out of business. Because I did see them in the Sephora sale section. I was like, oh, it's on sale, but it's 50% off, which seemed high. They put up a note that, and they sell their stuff on Amazon too, plus probably their site, plus Sephora. So grab anything while you can. Of Like I said, I've been working, I'm working on several cleansers at a time though. This is the Crystal Nova. There's also a moisturizer. That I've tried a couple, I've used a couple times, but I haven't busted into it. But this thing's definitely worth your money. <laughs> this is the Doe Therapy pore treatment mask. I did a video on this too. It, it, it's really squishy. This will be all over me in a second. But it's a bouncy texture. 
I mean, I've gotten to the point where I'm like scooping it <laughs> and putting out a thicker layer because you can use the tiniest amount of this and it dries like very quickly. But sit, like, and you know, on a regular mask, if you go to like smile or something, your face feels like it's cracking and dying. <laughs> this doesn't do that. It'll, you'll feel it crack, but it doesn't hurt. I, I don't know. You know what I mean? But just for you guys might want to know, OT's going out of business and stock up while you can. But literally one pump of this is plenty. So, and this is a 10 ounce bottle. <laughs> That's going to take a while to go through. Let's not drop you. Oh, new coffee cup. My tea mug. We got tea tonight. My happy tea. Buckety, buckety, buck. I feel better now. Okay, I did write down her name. This is her, um, you can find her on, I know on Instagram, but I found her on TikTok. It's, she's called Snarky, and then that underscore, Nana. And she just does the fun little 15 second TikToks, like, you know, Hey, you're going to be a fucking asshole or whatever the hell she says. And her cup's empty. I can tell when she goes to, to it's like she takes a sip of it. But she has all kinds, like, t-shirts that say this. Um, I think uh, hoodies, things like that. $22. Now, this does hold two cups of liquid. So, it's like 16 ounces. That's a, <laughs> it's a big mug, and that's what I like. And it was, like I said, $22.00. Flat fee, period. So there's no, like, oh, Connecticut tax and shipping and all this. Because if I was going to buy a mug somewhere else for, like, 20 bucks or even 18 by the time they added in shipping, handling, you know, if you don't buy so much, if you're just buying the one item, and all that, I'm sure it would be way over $22. So 22 bucks and cheers to Snarky Nana. <laughs> and I just bought one to start. I was a good girl. I think I ordered it last Saturday night. <laughs> So it was all lit up going, Laura, look what I just bought. <laughs> Hello, Linda. No, you didn't miss too much. Just a little, little unboxings. Oh, there. Yeah, I did see some this week, too. I stopped in quick and I ended up with one item. Marsha found six great Sigma brushes at TJ Maxx this week. And they make nice brushes. I started my channel as a dare, <laughs> Patty. I just keep going. I just, it, it was literally, my girlfriend got me even into Instagram, all this. I, didn't, I thought Instagram was all like fucking food pictures. She said, girl, no, there's like this. And, you know, and she next thing grabs a hold of my phone, literally makes me an Instagram. I probably had Instagram. I had like one picture on it. And she starts following all these beauty people. And next thing they're following me back and posting pics and next thing she's breaking my balls about you need to do YouTube. You have way too much beauty shit up here. You need to go on YouTube. I'm like, I don't want to go on fucking YouTube. I go, girl, that involves cameras and lights and you know, all this crap. And she's just like, no, you got to do it. So I'm like, fine. I will do YouTube if I hit 10,000 followers on Instagram. Figuring no fucking way am I ever, ever going to hit 10,000 followers on Instagram. Yeah, as I have 40... 3,000 on Instagram. <laughs> so I, I held to it. You know, I hit 10,000. was like, fuck, bought a camera, <laughs> lights. Then we eventually made this room. And just, I've been doing this like six years. And now I just come on here and play with you ladies and have fun. And I just do it. Yeah, Teresa, I'm sad to hear about OT too. Yes, I did send you the link. She is funny. She's cute. Oh, good seeing you, Patty. If you have a link, it will be your turn. A link for who? I don't know who she was wanting the link for. Yeah, in her, if you go on definitely her TikTok, a lot of people use that link tree. Like if you go to their page, you just click it and then it'll, I should probably do it on there too, I guess. Then it can drive you to like, oh, here's my Instagram account, my Twitter account. But she has like the store right through there. But yeah, she's adorable. 
I love, you know, she is like a little Nana. <laughs> little snarky Nana. She's cute. All right. What kills me? I had this arm perfect today. I was like, yay, I can finally do swatches. Doing laundry. Ran into the fucking door. And then I almost wiped out the dog today. Fucking Brody. <laughs> I'm in the master bath that I'm the dog's kind of in the way and I'm trying to get around with Greg's clothes and I went to chuck his clothes out and what the fuck. Next thing I'm careening towards the dog and I'm just like shit <laughs> so, you know, slam I'm afraid my wrists aren't killing me. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> And next thing I'm like, one hand on one side of the dog, one on the other. And the dog's looking up at me like, what are you doing? I'm like laughing with Greg going, I was playing Twister with the dog. I'm like, that's all I need is, you know, my fat ass falling on the dog. Going, oh my God. <laughs> everything's, everything's good in the hood otherwise. With that. <laughs> oh my God. All right, give me a brush. <laughs> Veronica, I think I do have some stuff put aside for you. A sheer blush from Iconic London. And a couple other goodies. That's the catch. All right, so this is this complex culture bronzer. Uh, sun bath. And it's called Just Right, I guess. It's one of those names. Get four and a half grams of product. Cute little packaging. It's gotta be the cats. This is really yellow. Oh boy. Oh yeah, it's warm. Kicks up a lot in the pan too. Mm, yeah, it's yellow. <laughs> it's yellow. Shiloh's must be chasing beauty around because now I'm hearing them crash down the stairs. Yeah, that's yellow. Okay. Well, it's yellow on me. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's yellow. Yeah. I'll fuck up both sides of my face, right? Feels nice on the pan. There. Yeah, not, not my color. Ooh, Wayne Goss launched a new palette. It looks beautiful. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be grabbing that. All right, let's use this little plush thing here. Let me wipe off this brush. Oh, that green didn't set. I'm surprised. It has this. Oh, excuse me. The slightest bit of tackiness to it. Oh, the highlighter didn't set either. Shit. I'm worse than having to set a highlighter. Alright. I'm going to go on the matte side first. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. That's a pretty blush. Oh, and I saw Revlon did, like, one of the chapters, 7, 11, 12. They're having issues. I mean, I haven't seen them come out with much lately. I mean, I bought one of these things recently. I didn't even like the shade, because once I saw it inside, I screwed it up. Oh, shit, I sure saw what else we got, too. Shit, hold on. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Blush, that bronzer though. That bl blush is pretty. I would just say this other side. I wouldn't call it a highlight. I would say just like either mix them together, maybe as a topper. But it, I wouldn't say it's no. It's definitely not a highlight. Yeah. Not a highlight. Yeah. Hold on. Let's see what else we got in these boxes. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, where were we and mother? Walmart picked up my uh, Aussie three-minute miracle moist. 
Whenever they have the two pack, I buy the two pack. What the hell? I was, couldn't find any upstairs, so I figured, well, they're somewhere. Oh, TJ Maxx. This is the only thing I bought. And I actually put it on the credit card because I want the points. It's the Tasty Pizza Palette. It's actually cute. It's all like obviously mozzarella and slice, Chicago, cute names. But it's a cool color story too. We'll use this obviously in a separate video. But I like the shades in there. I was just like, okay, cool. Yeah, $5.99. I'm like laughing with the girl at the register. Like, Ooh. All right, well, what else we got here? Urban Decay. Picked these up at Macy's when they had the 15% off recently, but I also had $20 in Macy's money. So I picked up, all right, wait a minute, they, wait a minute. Which one did they send me? All right, Urban Decay initially sent me the Foxy palette, which is that one. And I said eventually I would definitely pick up Half Baked and Sin. Better than putting nails on it. That's Sin. I thought, yeah, no, this is Half Baked. I thought the Sin was going to have more pink to it. But they're just really light. But it's pretty. So I grabbed the two. I had all three together because I was photographing them. And that's where I picked up the Mellow Way um, eyeliner. It's nice. It's not the best on the waterline, but it's a pretty color. It is metallic. It just, it's it's pretty good on the waterline. It's not, I wouldn't say like it's horrible or anything. All right, CVS, I've done some damage recently. I will have another upcoming video. Gina bought all the ones from Makeup Revolution. I have the Flower Beauty, the liquid highlighters. These are, these and the Makeup Revolution are both supposedly dupes for the Charlotte Tilbury that's 40 bucks. I paid full price for these. And of course, I was at the CVS, it's right across from work and it's a pricey town. If I probably would have went down the fucking street or my CVS in town, I probably would have paid $2 less. I paid almost $14 a piece for these. So we will be, and then Gina's going to give me the one she has, and then we're going to compare them. Not that we could compare them to Charlotte, because I ain't paying 40 bucks for that. I wouldn't pay 40 bucks for that regardless. But then I'll pull out other liquid highlighters, like the Ella Mask or something, and go, yeah, take your pick. So I did end up with a bunch of beauty bucks, or whatever the fuck they're called, CBS bucks. And of course they were going to expire, so I was like, well shit, I better use these. And they, um, the girl on one of them was like, oh, you qualify for June's free beauty something. I was like, okay, whatever. So I didn't go to the CBS across from work, I went to the one here in Bristol. <laughs> so there... I mean, I was just, I had to pick some random shit at this point. <laughs> I was just like fucking running out of stuff to buy. So I bought the Physician's Formula Bread and Butter Bronzer. I should use this probably. No, that's all right. Oh, it does kind of smell like bread. I'm sure this is overspray. Oh, yeah. At least these are a little more raised. See? So that's really light, too. It's right there. So the freebie item that she kicked me, they get, let you pick, and I was just like, give me the fucking sun bum. So it's a one ounce. I mean, SPF 30. What the hell? Uh, like I said, cover girl. I had one of the coupons kick out where it goes five off of ten. And I knew that the mascara was going to be over ten bucks a pop, so I figured get five dollars off. And fuck, I bought the water resistant. Because I see that now. Uh, the Exhibitionist Stretch and Strengthen Mascara. We'll play with that tonight. And then I saw this and I immediately thought of my girl, Adrian Royal. Uh, Pixie with Hello Kitty. Hello Glowy Powder in Sweet Glow. Adrian's just a, she loves Hello Kitty. And I was like, oh, pink highlighter, I'm down. <laughs> It doesn't have like the little face in it. It's just the 
outline of Hello Kitty. It's weird that the little face isn't in there, but it's a bright. I might just put it over the browser. There. I put it over the browser here by accident. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the four. One, two, three. Yeah, that's all I bought from CVS. And of course, I think I have more bucks back or whatever the hell it was. Alright. It's the packaging. And this is just called Baked. About Earth Limited Edition. Whatever. Whatever. And then this just. I don't need the box. Holy shit. Alright, I'm gonna put the Flower Beauty aside because we definitely I don't need the Urban Decay boxes anymore. But this will be fun comparing even the Flower Beauty to the Makeup Revolution. Because I even said to Gina, I said, the Makeup Revolution ones might have shimmer in them. These don't have shimmer in them. And this is heavy. <laughs> oh, I forgot Foxy was down here. Son of a bitch. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right. <laughs> Low recipe. Plum plump. I love this, though. This is a great product. Uh, I know this I picked. Can I put blush on? We'll play with this sun. Get rid of me. Uh, Dominique Cosmetics Cream Blush in Warm Peach. Gina tried it. She did like it. And I think this was in Drop Shop and all that, too. Where the hell can I put this where it's not? It's pretty... Pretty light. <laughs> it, it's, it's right here. <laughs> okay, that's way lighter than I anticipated, but okay. I see some of the stuff I don't touch. Uh, this is where I used this the other day. The Patrick Ta. Some volume mascara or something. What the hell does it say? Major volume mascara. This was decent. Didn't flake or anything. I actually have another one of those coming because I bought one. <laughs> uh, sandbar, shadow light, eyeshadow primer. Okay, it's white. <laughs> Long wearing eyeshadow primer. Right. Let's see how white it is. Oh, it. I think it just... That, that's very deceiving because I almost thought this was going to be like a stark white oh oh lord I will not put this near my eyes this smells like fucking turpentine I'm good let me see Anybody else let me know uh, if you've got this sandbar shadow light eyeshadow primer and if yours smells like serpentine, basically. Mm -mm. <laughs> nope. Anything smells crazy like that ain't going anywhere near my fucking eyeballs. Not gonna happen. Alright. And I did have this palette, too. Of course I did! Uh, the Lorac... Meraki palette. This is mine. This here. Beautiful neutral palette. I, I like Lorac. Can't go wrong with them, but now I have two. <laughs> so, obviously, the new one will be a gift to one of my ladies. I bought these on sale when they had them at Ulta. Uh, the Lorac's 45. The Patrick Ta is 29. The Dominique Cosmetics is 22. Now, Dominique Cosmetics says you can put use it on your lips, too, for a pinch of color. The Glow Recipe is 42. That eyeshadow primer is 28. You know I'm going to have to go on and do a review and bash that. <laughs> not intentionally, but I am not putting anything on it that smells like that. And then this wackadoodle item that Gina likes, so I'm probably just going to give her mine, because I will never fucking use this. <laughs> This is the Shadow Moon Reusable Shadow Shield. 
Okay, for fast and flawless eye makeup application for flawless eye makeup application. Now it's funny. It's like it says like shield your you know to shield, which is cool. But I have ones that you just kind of stick on. So I'd have to hold this here while I'm putting on eyeshadow, which would be a pain in the ass. Obviously, you could put it on your outside corner here if you wanted to do like your wing or any of that. And then it also says something about put it in the fridge and then you can use it as like an eye gel. <laughs> soothe. Cool in the fridge or freezer to depuff and smooth, soothe your under eye area. And this thing's like 20 something dollars, isn't it? 15 bucks. No thanks. <laughs> I mean, it's flexible and all, but this is just going to get into a... Mm -mm. Don't worry, Gina, I'll wash it before I give it to you. She liked it. <laughs> She's like, I will never use it. Not my thing. I said I have actual shadow shields if I need one. It's usually only if I'm dealing with pigments that I would even use a shadow shield. But I guess it's even saying use it to... I don't fucking know. I don't know. Not for me. You win some, you lose some. Yeah, so besides the double the rock, which isn't... You know, boxy charms fault. That was my boxy premium. Let me get this out of the way. All right. Ow, ow, ow. <sighs> fuck it. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Hey, Kimberly. Kimberly Lynn. <laughs> oh, the bronzer looks orange on your side. <laughs> Yellow on mine. <laughs> I think they did have a palette, Caitlin. I agree. They had a complex culture bronzer and highlighter palette. It was like a duo. Yeah, that Wayne palette is gorgeous. Oh, I agree, Marsha. Yeah, the Patrick Ta palette. She's probably swatched it at Sephora this week. Nice formula, but definitely just another high-end neutral palette, without a doubt. Oh, yay! Laura got some Lossy shampoo and conditioner that the ladies all recommended from last week, and she loves it. Granny, how are you, darling? Yeah, I've been using that, like I said, that conditioner since I was a teenager. I think Barsha, they've been cha Urban's changing around their um, where it's made and stuff. Like one of them was like what South Korea. Yeah, Aussie, Briogeo, and Olaplex definitely great conditioners. Caitlin's got a massive Sephora cart going on. She has fifteen percent off. What's everyone's favorites? What do I have in there? <clears throat> I always have something sitting in the bag. What could possibly be sitting in there? Oh, I would, I'm uh, definitely going to get the new House Labs eyeliner. Because I'm pretty sure they said they changed formulas. Because I know I have the original. And the original was, eh. I have that eyeliner in there. What else do I have in there? Something from the Sephora collection. And maybe another eyeliner. You know me, I'm just a fucking eyeliner girl. Oh, definitely, Laura, though. Aussie is super affordable at Walmart. And you can get, like, the huge bottles with the big pump and everything. Absolutely. And it smells good, too. I agree. I would not try drunk elephant hair care. I can only imagine the price on that. But Marsha's liking it so far. The mask and the moisture shampoo is great. Lord, me just as all covered in bruises from bumping into the walls. I was laughing with my mom, going, "I'm about to put like you know the cushioned bumpers <laughs> along every fucking door frame of." Because me and my mother were laughing it, on both of us. It literally goes here to here. It's never gone like above my arms. And this happened once I turned fifty. Like your body freaks out when you turn 40, 50. and this this happens due to all the sun damage from all the years. Even though I put tons of skin. Everything that goes on my face basically goes on my arms now. Mm 
Marsha doesn't like those one minute conditions. Well, I leave it in more than a minute. <laughs> it's, you know, five, ten minutes. Sometimes I'll use it as a hair mask, rinse it out later. Ah, uh, Terry, I got the coffee cup from Snarky Nana. What the fuck would I do with the paper? She's a TikToker, but she has Instagram too. But I found her on TikTok, and then you go to like their page and go to the little link thing, and that's her S N A R K Y. Sorry for my shitty handwriting. Underscore Nana N A N A. God, I wrote that fucking horrible, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Oh my god. My father would slap me in the fucking head if he saw that right. <laughs> Snarky Nana. <laughs> yeah, this would definitely be great for I mean I'll try it on when I didn't already put fucking blush on damn it oh Caitlin got a different color she got rose silk and she loves it <laughs> I feel you patty that drop shop they get you they get you hi Lorianne she's back I like both. Terry wants to know if everybody likes cream or you prefer cream or powder. I like you put the cream on first and then powder over the top. I think the only thing I picked up in the drop shop was what that like. I picked up the Patrick Tom mascara and two other things. I picked up three items. I don't know why that shadow shield is so big and it's not like it's gonna stick to your face because it almost goes like it's self-adhesive i'm like self-adhesive to what <laughs> it's just it's heavy it's gonna fall right off my face oh yeah rose you had a hell of a week when you're putting in a new toilet oh my god you said they had a rusted bolt i think Marsha just found the NARS Climax palette that sold out last year at Nordstrom Rack Online. Nice. Yeah, I caught one of those recently, too. Remember, I was like, oh, my God, the summer solstice, I think. I snagged it like TJ Maxx. Oh, yeah. Rosie beat that toilet down. <laughs> All right. We, we got to swatch this because I, I have to see what these colors are. <laughs> I've never laughed so damn hard, but I was like, why are they saying that these are face colors? Like, who the hell's putting green on? Okay, well, the eyeshadow primer did stay white. <laughs> I It was going clear on me. It has that weird ring around it. I, it's still not using it. All right, we, we got to see what these are. Fingers clean, yes. All right, Th the first shade is definitely a highlighter. Okay. I'm going to go down to this one. I, I mean, okay, I could, I guess this could be a bronzer. This still looks fucking green to me. Unless I'm hallucinating badly. It's very powdery, too. Maybe these are supposed to be contour. I mean, this one I could see as a blush. A, this would be the only one. Yeah, that's definitely a highlighter. These are powdery. Wow. Okay, and the blush is pretty too. Okay. These would definitely be more contour shades. Not, I don't, I don't know anybody that would wear that as a blush. So maybe that's what they're trying to do is we're saying cheek. I could have sworn it said blush on here. Okay, it says cheek color. Something I'm going on over here. <laughs> God. <laughs> the crazy ass fucking hair going. All right. Just for ha-has, I'm going to go into this darker shade. It's on this side of the palette. <laughs> I just have to, I'm dying to see what this does. Oh, good Lord. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <clears throat> no. 
Oh, shit. Oh. Mm. Panicking. Yeah, that, that was bad. Looks like there's a big old fucking bruise on my face. <laughs> shit. Mm, a clean brush. Let's go with the physician's formula. Oh, I don't think that's going to help it. Oh, God damn, this smells good. It does smell like bread. Ah. Oh. 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 It's got to look as bad to you as it does to me. This is powdery as hell, too. I'm just trying to make the other side of my face look crazy, too. Oh, what the hell? Oh, my. Oh, that's just... No. 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 Look, we'll just won't look at this side of my face. <laughs> I gotta swatch these little incredibly tiny eyeshadows. Oh my god, I can barely get my finger in these. They they feel better than okay. All right, these are actually performing way better than I thought they would. I might get my finger in that one. It's gonna be this one. Uh, that's pretty damn pigmented right there, that deeper brown shade. Okay, we got a pink, a gray. There's a cranberry shade. That's a cute little pink there. Wow, these swatch were <laughs> nicer than I expected. Okay. Those other two shades, I don't, I don't know what's happening with those. Do they have any other highlighters? No. Oh yeah, I got. I'm using the fucking Hello Kitty. What <laughs> <Like> that? <laughs> kitty, kitty. That was a waiver brush. That's cute. Not overbearing. Pixie's another one of those brands that I've tried it here and there. They actually used to have um like an eyeshadow stick that was like a peach shade. And I went through the whole damn pencil. I actually used it up years ago. Okay, cute little highlighter from Pixie. I don't know why that crap cost it. No idea. No idea. This out of the way. Holy shit. All right, we got to swatch this other Ciate palette. I'll do one on the side of my arm. The cranberry one that doesn't look cranberry. Oh, that's slick as hell. Okay. These are, okay, unexpected textures on these, like slippery. Confused. Okay. The third one's a matte. Okay, these shiny shades are really slick. These are the three middle ones. I'm going to move off here. That's pretty, too. What the fuck am I doing? I can't figure out which mirror to look in. I mean, the darker shades are definitely... I thought that was a brown. Well, it's kind of a brown. This might perform better than we're thinking. Another brown, another, okay, that's like one of those putty ones. It's like squishy putty. Okay, these metallic shades are kind of crazy. I mean, at least you got kind of like a light, medium, deep. Which one didn't I do? Oh, that's the one. And the actual cranberry. Okay. Beauty Vault. <laughs> I 
is gorgeous. Put my arm space here. One, two. What the fuck kind of swatch was that? Okay, I guess we're going across the elbow. <laughs> for beauty vault and I will try as much as I don't usually put on mascara at night here what the fuck I'll try the cover book because I already tried the Patrick Ta the other day I ripped it out of the box it's got like the same kind of worm doesn't it This is a different one than the Patrick Ta. It smells like nothing. That's what I like. Oh, maybe I do have the price of this. Wait a minute, CVS. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, this is why I can tell you the CVS is usually really high. Or this is my CVS, actually. Uh, the cover girl said it was $12.49. Positions formula fifteen seventy nine. Holy shit! <laughs> I should probably add up things. Uh, the Pixie powder. How much product do you get in here? Okay, you do get ten grams of product. Okay, I feel a little better now. That sucker retailed for eighteen dollars. Was not expecting that. And then the some bum. If you wanted to buy it, it says like for the one ounce price is like three. 89 or something like that and i had 5 10 14 15 16 17 18 dollars in extra bucks so i paid with tax 34 dollars for the physicians the pixie and the cover girl that's not bad like those extra bucks and yeah and that some bum thing was free Oh, okay. Fuck, I didn't know that. Physician's formula, buy two. Any physician's formula, get 10 extra bucks rewards. So I got one towards that. And then the cover girl, buy three of anything and get $10 in extra bucks. So I got obviously one. Don't buy a lot of cover girl. Good to know. Well, I can definitely go. I mean, physician's formula, I'm still going to have to spend another 15 bucks to get 10 back. What did I miss? I know it does. It looks like I got fucking punched in the face. I know. We'll just try to cover that. <laughs> yeah, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I won't be using that ever again. Especially going out. Marsha ordered the Violet Voss palette, then seems it comes in her regular order, which happens a lot and ends up with two. That's with me with, like, the Patrick Ta. That's one thing I do like about Ipsy compared to Boxy, because Ipsy at least shows you what the fuck you're getting before you go shopping. So at least I know what the fuck I'm getting, so it's like, oh, I don't do doubles. Because I was like, I don't know if I'm going to get the Patrick Ta and Boxy Charm. Who the hell knows? And it was funny. I didn't even get a shipping thing. I even went into the site and was like, did this shit ship yet? Like, where's this box? And the next thing it fucking showed up. I was like, okay. Okay. <laughs> Go, Patty. <laughs> Patty, they must be taking notes with Pat McGrath on how tiny those pants are. <laughs> Pretty much. It's got to stand here how small they are. Wait, Bust out the big guns. I got some fucking hair dramas going. Because required by law, they have to have it on here. And I don't see it anywhere on here. Made in China. Why doesn't it say? Okay, the whole... Well, all I have is the front of the box. The whole palette has 10.8 grams. Oh, wait a minute. That's on this palette. Wait a minute. Where's the other box? Everyday vacay. Okay, this has less product. This has 10 grams overall. 
between four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve items. So obviously these are mm -mm, real tiny. And like I said, pan sizes are yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked on those metallic shades, though. I was not expecting them to look that good. Oh, Laura got the Fenty highlighter or Ipsy. Yeah, you always got to try them because you never know. Sometimes it can be too dark, but it actually, she likes it. Okay, that's what I was trying to talk about this earlier. Ipsy is adding a $1.99, two buck handling fee to every shipment. Okay. Yeah, so if you get Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus, then they're going to add that fee to each bag. Okay. That's why I paid that 300 bucks for the year, and I'm not going to get charged any of that. Oh, Marsha has a little tiny lizard. She named him Leroy. He's taking care of the bugs. There you go. Oh, cute. Little lizards are cute. I like lizards. Oh, I didn't know Sun Bum had shampoo. Hmm, interesting. That's a good idea, Laura. Her boxies have been showing up a day after um, drop shop and all that, so she just waits. It's a good idea. I should probably wait, too. I did, Caitlin. I saw that today, that Sugar Drizzle has a new palette, and I missed that again, along with the Man I Love Frogs. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll catch those two on the next one. Yeah, I agree, Laura. Laura doesn't not necessarily wants the lizards, but... Better than the bugs. And the lizards will eat the bugs. Fuck. <laughs> okay. I definitely want to use this little beauty vault. Just because it's just too goddamn cute. It's too goddamn cute. Obviously, I got four shades here, so I'm going to probably mix these two together and then slap on the peachy shade and call it a day. I don't have my my mirrors over there, but it's kind of got too early room in front of me. I did put eye primer on, like, before I came on here. So I told you about Otzi, Otzi. Coffee cup. Yeah. Okay. I want to make sure. And Revlon. The, I don't know what the fuck's going on with them. Like I said, they filed one of the chapter things. Probably 11 or 12, I'm guessing. I think Dave Lackey posted about it. If you ain't following Dave Lackey, he's another one to follow with City Line. He does giveaways all the time, especially on like Twitter. Oh my God. In this past week, I have binge watched. All three seasons I finished today on Prime Video of The Boys. I saw some people talking about it on Twitter or TikTok. It must have been Twitter. And they were like, holy fuck, this episode. And it literally goes like episode three, season one. And it had like the timestamp, like, check this out. So I'm like, what the fuck, I got Prime Video. So when it popped up, I'm like, I watched the scene and I'm like, Okay, it's like superheroes or some shit. And then I noticed Carl Urban is in it. I like Carl Urban. He's fucking hot. And here in this thing, he's called Butcher. And there's a bunch of other cute guys. And, but they're like little superheroes, but they're not nice superheroes necessarily. I watched that whole, all three seasons this past week. I liked it. Fun. People's heads exploding, you know, just weird shit. <laughs> These are very pigmented. I can bring that pink up more. Well, probably see how much I shut my eyeball. of an eye lift, but I would not want to go through that surgery either. <laughs> oh, 
flat brush just going in like a little like a peachy pink maybe something like that yeah if I'm real. It almost does that, um, like the highlighters I love that go like pinky peach golden. I've seen it in the different mirrors. It's almost looking like just maybe a touch of gold in there. That's pretty. Simple. Do we like? Oh, sometimes we like a ton of color. Hi, Gabriella. I know, Rosie, I want that sugar, that new sugar palette. What was it called? Oh, God, I don't know what the name of it was. Sugar Stones or something? It looked really pretty. Laura, you are so good. Laura donated eight more palettes this week, and now she's down to about 60. <laughs> yes, Revlon filed bankruptcy. Oh, there you go. Oh, I hate spiders. That's the only thing I'm fucking scared of. Leroy's taking care of all of them. I definitely don't like spider web. That's oof. And, and like a lizard, a snake. I'll pick all that shit up. But I see the tiniest little spider. I'll like run through a fucking wall. My cats won't necessarily kill the bugs. I'll notice, you know, they're like, what are they looking at on the floor? And they're more touching it and just fucking with it. And I'm like, fucking eat it. And they're spoiled brats. So they're not eating it. I agree, Caitlin. It's a little scary that that's a big brand and they're going in chapter... It's like I said, you have to Google it. It was 11 or 12, but it gives them time to almost revamp and shit because they've kind of fallen out too. Even I haven't bought really... I think I've bought one Revlon lipstick, a regular lipstick, and then I bought... I knew this little thing, this cloud blotted lip color, and of course, under fluorescent lights in the store... I got it home and went, oh, fuck. It's not the color I want. Let me see. Get that out of the way. All right. So should I use this cranberry palette? Yeah, what the hell. I mean, it's weird. You'd think they'd have a cranberry shade. <laughs> to me, this is like literally the only cranberry shade. We got two Seate palettes here, so fuck it. Let's see what we got. I'm going to use the fucking mind you guys the cranberry shade out of this one because other than that I literally have brown brown and then brown and these are all fucking brown I know sometimes the light and lives is a little different we have a light brown a medium brown or two medium browns and a dark brown. Let's see how this little itsy bitsy teeny weeny little eyeshadow works. <laughs> Don't go <to> my face. <laughs> Is that annoying? How's that annoying? Or matte shade, that's nice. And the only one of them feels like, in this palette, that feels like one of those kind of like putty textures. Still going in the same shade. I 
it works. I definitely use one of these shades as oh that's powdery. Holy shit. Okay, I went to the cranberry palette and the lighter shade, and it was just like poof. <laughs> and it's still poofing off my brush as I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. I, should, I, I but if I put on the cranberry shade, I don't think you're gonna be able to see anything. But I think it's almost gonna meld with that color. Let's try it. Picks up on a brush. Good to know. I'll do just the outer corner with it. Yeah, it picks up with a brush, but doesn't apply that well. It's almost, well, no, it worked. Okay. I was going to say it's almost too creamy for a brush, but that shade, oh, see, that was my bad, because I pulled the shade out of the other palette. So if you had the browns, it would just be, you know, you'd have a brown crease with this in it. I'm going to lighten that up and go in with the uh, first shade, this light lavender, I guess it is. Picks up too. They feel weird though, like I said. Picks up a lot of product on there. Let's wet it. What the hell happens? Let's see. It's almost in the empties. Yay! my hair. I'm like, what the hell is hitting me in the face? Thanks, pretty. That's workable. Alright. I'm not going to bother with lower lash lines, because fuck it. I will try the mascara, though. You know, because I'm taking my makeup off. i got to figure out 11 o'clock at night. I have a clock now, so if you can hear the tick, 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 it's a clock. Obviously, I didn't know it was going to make the noise. It, it's a blue neon clock. Not at Walmart. 23 bucks, 24 bucks, something like that. I, have to, I can't, you know, with my phone, I can't tell you know, what time it is. So now at least I see, oh, it's quarter after nine. All right, here's the cover girl. Oh, okay. She grabbed right on there. And this is the waterproof version, like I said. That was my bad. I think I had my glasses on while I was shopping, too. So that's my fault. I just didn't read all the packaging. I didn't even notice it until it was down here. Hey, some you well, when you're rocking out in 100 degree heat, you need waterproof mascara. That's for damn sure. decent just a it's a regular like i said basically just a regular brush nothing i'll do patrick ta on the other side then i'll have to fight one of them to get off. and the patrick ta these bristles are so wide that i was like oh my god this is not gonna you know get my lashes but it's one of those as long as i wiggle it you know, when you do the back and forth to make sure you get the product on there. Because that is some pretty big gaps. But it did last and it was fine. And it's cool to get one in the box and then I only paid 10 bucks for like a backup. Not that I need a backup. It'll either go in the backup drawer or to one of my girlfriends. I got hair on that too. Why pay twenty nine dollars for a mascara when we can get it for boxy for ten bucks? <laughs> or this will probably be an Ipsy too, because I've gotten a bunch of Patrick Top from Ipsy. And now that Ipsy owns boxy, who knows? I'll let that dry. What am I missing out on here? I need a cigarette. Oh, 
Blame this for her. Oh, okay, Laura was talking about the Revlon lipsticks. I hope they're not being discontinued. Maybe they're just, it's, sometimes it's just for a money reboot. And Thank you, Laura said the lighter pink shade is pretty. It, even drugstore mascara is shit. I mean, that, we'll see, that's where every drugstore is a different price, too. But that's even pricey for my CVS. That thing was, what, like 14 bucks? Everything's just, even drugstore, some of it's like the L'Oreal, that serum foundation is $20. They go, well, what the fuck? You might as well buy a high end if you're going to spend 20 bucks. Or buy even like Natasha Denona that's on sale now for $22. This piece of hair is just doing its own fucking thing today. What's happening? There was no lippies, huh? Weird. Well, the Dominique Cosmetics said you can use that as a lip stain. So, eh. This is going to be really sheer. This is not going to show up on my lips. Got a ton of it on there. Oh, shit, it does. I keep seeing, well, of course, I saw Stephanie, Miss Glamzilla, and several other beauty people on um, those Fenty Poutsicles, where it's a lip stain. So you can't put it on. I think I, you could just leave it as full color, but they all did, like, put it on, showed it as full color, and then wiped it off, and it did stain. And I was like, shit, of course, there's, like, one of the goddamn colors I want. That's probably what else is in my Sephora basket. Laura's having a smoke with me. Thank you. Then my hair looks pretty and shiny. This looks shiny. <laughs> I need a cut. I better get a cut. For, my girl's about to pop a baby out, so I better get on her and get a cut. <laughs> Not worrying about bleaching it again. That's the least of my worries. Funny how I ended up with a similar eyeshadow look, though. Almost identical. This side's a little lighter. Yeah, it's from an independent brand, which I love already. Miss Beauty Vault. And even that champagne -y Gold, that would be pretty too. I like this. I already put highlighter on. So I got this little moss, but knowing that doesn't dry down. You guys, have you all seen swatches of these flower things? Because if not, I'll swatch them for you now. But we're going to do a whole video with all that. Just in case if anybody wants swatches. You know, I'll do them. I'm sitting here like, what the hell? Let me have my. Uh, I need my jiggy here. And my cellar water. And our farmer market opened today, and I just, me and Greg were working around here and doing shit. So it was like, ah, I didn't get down there. I really wanted to go, but then it was like 12 o'clock, and it's only till one. And I'm like, at least our farmer market, you got to get there kind of when they open to get the best shit. That's probably most farmer markets. And by 12, 12, 30, I go, they're wiped out and they're already like starting to break down because they're at one o'clock. So I missed out. That's okay. I'll go next week. Get my coffee and what else do I need? Some soaps for my soap guy at Twin Farms. Some veggies. Oh, okay. That color just wipes me out. <laughs> I need some color. Fly us all to the rescue. There we go. <laughs> I have like three layers of stuff on my lips now. Love this shade. Uh, what shade is this? 90? I guess. Or 10? Yeah, it's got to be shade 90. Lip gloss. Lip balm. Whatever the hell it is. Okay, I'll do swatches. Yeah, the indie brand is uh, Beauty Vault. Like I said, I put stuff right here. Move Huda. Don't want to break my Clinique. <laughs> this is a face palette. Bunch of highlighters. 
And then the uh, Parsifal palette. This is beautiful, too. Lots of great shades. I wonder if any of these shades match this. That pink looks close. I was thinking the two pinks here. I think this is a mini of this. Hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right, let me put one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is the mini palette. I'm just gonna leave like a gap so we can swatch it right next to it. <laughs> okay. Wait a I'm thinking this top shade called High Top might match. Oh, nope. <laughs> okay, this is more gold. That's more champagne. Okay, so that's not a match. Then I'm thinking Bezel. For the matte pink. Nope. Good thing I swatched them. Because they are different. This one's a lighter pink. This is more on the cranberry side. Alright. For this pinky shade. I'm thinking this Wi-Fi. Nope. <laughs> okay. They, they aren't going to match at this point. I'm three in and they don't match. These two are kind of close. But the lower shade has a little more oomph to it. And then the wine shade. I think this is called wine in here. Yeah, it's called wine. Which is this purple. Nope, darker. Okay. Totally different palette. Close. But again, you can see where, you know, you add a couple more drops of this. You go from that to that. But these two top shades aren't close. Even the other one that's called Trip, I don't think that would match either. Nope. There's another metallic -y shade in there. But it's not the same. Okay, good. And like I said, that eye, that liquid eyeliner, holy shit. When you gotta, you know, use double action makeup remover to get it off, you know it's damn good. And rose quartz is just... Gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Oh my god, it's stunning. All right. Yeah, definitely not the same. That's the only one that's close. And even then, no. All right. All right, move on to the Flower Beauty. And I literally got the last three on the display. And like I said, they'll... Be different price wherever the hell you are. So there's Opal, Gleam, and Gilded. I already know this Gilded is way too dark for me. Because I tried it. I used, I want to say Opal the other day in a Get Ready With Me. Or Makeup of the Day, whatever the fuck I call it. And then Gleam I had used on my own because that's a pink. Okay, so these, it's the exact same packaging literally as Charlotte. Top pulls off. It has an open close nozzle here. So you can see once you got the little gap, it's open. And it has the spongy tip. But there's probably plenty in there, so I'm not even going to... Oh, yeah. There's more than enough in there. It, I mean, it covered that mark on my arm, for Christ's sakes. But you can see how dark that is. It's very dark. It's just one of those where I'm going to make sure I have to close it. And the inside of the cap will get all fucked up. Just from touching it. Alright, so this one's Gleam. This is the pinkier one. And they dry quickly. <laughs> so I would suggest dot dot dot, blend that sucker right out, and then do the other side. Because I think that even the other morning I was like, oh shit, I remember these dried quickly. And then this one's opal. I keep twisting this cap. There's nothing to do with it. I probably don't even need to add any. You can actually see like it move. 
when you go to press it. Okay. All three are beautiful. I mean, hands down, they are just beautiful. See, I already got the pink on. Let me close that. Let me go with the pink. This one. We got the pixie. We're going to throw some of this over the top. What the hell? You can see how reflective it is. But you got to, yeah, you're going to want to blend that out quick. Beauty sponge, finger, whatever. But it dries down really fast. I have no idea if Charlotte goes down that quick. That sounded. <laughs> Sorry, Charlotte. Didn't mean to make you be like a hooker. <laughs> Let's go. Oh God, this contour or whatever that is. Let's just, let's just look from this side. No, I did it on both sides and I destroy myself. But no glitter particles in them, anything. But that's why Gina was like, do a video and then you can compare them to the Makeup Revolution because the Makeup Revolutions were 10, I believe. And like I said, they always have sales. Buy two, get one free, 20% off. Gina did her first order, was doing her first order with them. So she got 25% off. Yeah, these are already dry. <laughs> They're not budging. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty solid. We'll work quickly with it. Let me move. This one here. It won't fall off. I got my cigarette. I ran out of my big lighters. I can't stand using a regular lighter like this. I'm a big girl. Fire. Oh, wow. I didn't. Uh, Rosie said, did anyone read the article how L'Oreal is still standing behind Amber Heard? Wow. I did not see that article. Yeah, she did make quite the fool of herself on national TV. And Laura says, it's obvious that their relationship was toxic. Absolutely. And I'm not convinced that either was completely innocent. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome, Laura. I know, I can't believe I said a Charlotte goes down. <laughs> Whoopsie. After watching a week's worth of the um, the boys, as Carl Urban's character, Butcher, he is funny because I'm like, they should have just let him, I'm pretty sure he's Australian. So I wish they would have just let him use an Australian accent. But he's doing an English accent, which is cool too. But he keeps calling it, he I have not heard the word cunt <laughs> so much <laughs> in the past like 10 years in this past week. He calls everybody like a cunt. It's funny as hell. Because that word, I, I don't, the word bothers some women, which I don't get because again, it's just a word. I, it's like even my one girlfriend will be like, well, she's a see you next Tuesday. I'm like, just call her a cunt. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I get it though. Some women, they just freak out when they hear that word. And there ain't nothing that freaks me out, especially anything like that. And he's in plenty of other movies. Hello, bunny girl. I know, I've, I think I've, I've, Bunny asked me about this brush that I use all the time. And unfortunately, they're not available anymore. I think I've mentioned it. And I hate using brushes that aren't available. It was an indie brand, Blended Beauty. And like you could see the red dot in here. These are like little beads in here. This shows where you should hold the brush. But you know, if you bring your fingers down closer, it'll be harder. If you bring your fingers back, you know, it's fluffier. But it shows you like, and they are flexible. I have three of them. I love them. I've been using them for years and I feel bad that you guys can't get them, but that's where you'll see me. And I said to Bunny, I said, I also use the Persona. But I don't think Ulta has the brushes. I think it's just, you know, just a, this is a denser brush, too. Compared to these, but I have, like, all their brushes. I have her blush brushes. 
all that. But I, her eye, those blending brushes are my faves along with Wayne. But Yay, Lord, don't have any problems that word either. <laughs> yeah, it offends a lot of people, I know. Love Delium tools too. Absolutely. Love my Delium. Even the Zoeva, they're real nice, real techniques. Elf, eco tools, <laughs> it brushes, motor brushes. I have a shit ton of motor brushes. Uh, that Spectrum collection, I think they're like maybe Beauty Bay or something. Those are real nice. What else do I use? Even the Ulta brushes. I use the Ulta brushes all the time too, like their face brushes. This one's like a highlighter brush. Does it say highlighter? Oh, it does say. It's a tapered highlight brush. Yeah, even e.l.f. All of them. I just... I, these brushes that they put in the boxes... I'm trying to toss it across the fucking room. Where the hell did I put? Oh, maybe it's in the box. It just bums me out that they put those LaRousse and... I only have like one or two Luxie brushes that are halfway that I've kept. But again, to me, they're very overpriced for the quality of if you're going to pay. Okay. Say a Wayne Gosh brush. I don't know how much this thing costs. Just say $50 for ha-has. This brush is perfectly cut. That's what I expect. And these are hand put together. These ain't fucking machined. So if I pay, uh, you know, $50 for a brush and then the bristles are either popping out or they're cut all fucking uneven and you've seen me show you the brushes up against, you know, to show you how fucked up they are, that infuriates me to go, somebody else, they may not know, like, that's your brush is not supposed to look like that. <laughs> the bristles should all be c consistent. Patty gave herself some blinged brushes for Christmas present. We all got to buy ourselves a Christmas present. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Laura knows. Don't send me cheap brushes. I break them. Fucking toss them across the room. It just pisses me off when they pull that. Oh, okay. The only Persona brush at Ulta is the dual-ended. It's 24 but you can get it from BoxyCharm for, uh, like, $9. Is it? this one <laughs> it's a nice little brush because she has her blushes her eyeshadow palettes are great the whole brand is actually great products i love her identity one and identity two eyeshadow palettes i mean they're pretty much like an everyday palette but gorgeous textures rosie agrees luxie brushes suck ass <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think that's fair to the consumers. I mean, technically, I'm a consumer. I don't give a shit that I do this or not. I'm still a regular person. If I pay that kind of money for a brush, it better be goddamn nice. Yeah, see, I don't even have any brushes over here I can show you that are fucked up because I wouldn't keep a fucked up brush. I do have a ton of Delium. Well, it's another one. Oh, Japanesque. I find them at TJ Maxx all the time. They make great brushes. Japanese, this brand here. There we go. Very nice. I have their powder brushes. Like I said, Delium I found at the beauty shows in New York. And it was just like, they had Sigma there, but it was like the line would be out the damn door all the way down. I'm like, I'm not waiting in three hours for a line for anything. Especially nowadays. And that's where I went, oh, what's this? And of course... When we don't know the name, it's because it's B D. People go, Bedellium. <laughs> and he just the B is silent. Bedellium tools. And it was like, what the hell? They were doing like probably 40, 50% off, if not more. So I just grabbed a bunch and tried them, and they're made out of bamboo, so they're sustainable, vegan, cruelty free, synthetic, the whole nine. And they're great brushes. I haven't tried flower beauty brushes. Like, and I laugh. All right, say this Satina, what you saw me using. I, I found these at Walmart. Shit. Over six, seven years ago. 
and they were in like a little round brush holder thingy-majiggy. And of course, you know, Christmas, they were say 20 bucks or whatever. And I just waited till after Christmas and did the 50% off kind of deals and got them for 10 bucks. It was like a bunch of little brushes in there, but I think they were eye brushes. <laughs> I like these eye brushes. <laughs> I've, and for a while I pulled these out of the collection too. Cause I'm like, God, I hate using brushes that aren't available necessarily to everybody. I don't know if this brand's still available. I have no idea. But then I was like, I miss my Satina brush. <laughs> Cause you get used to using your certain brushes. Bunny's addicted to brushes too. Oh, those, oh, those, oh yeah, I remember those, Laura. The ugly orange brushes that came in Boxy a while back. They were horrible. Yes, they were. And Boxy said they were like $60. I remember that. I painted my fucking mailbox with those. <laughs> I have a massive, massive mailbox. You could fit a child in there. <laughs> with the packages I get, I need a big mailbox. And my numbers were wearing off. So I said, Greg, okay, we'll spray paint it, you know, the black. I said, let me use these fucking cheap ass brushes to write the numbers on. And even they were, they were just horrible. I should have filmed it. I don't know why I didn't, but it was just like, oh my God, they were streaky. They, they were just horrible. Absolutely horrible. Teresa Price Delium on Amazon. Yeah, they're fairly expensive. Absolutely. But that's why you go on their site and watch for their sales. They will do 40% off. Patty hated the Morphe and Jeffree Star ones. They fell apart. Morphe, I have a few in the collection. And again, I would have got them at the shows or if they would have showed up in a box. And a couple were, again, hit or miss. And that's where I probably, back then, since I was tanning a lot, I probably would have bought a lot more, um, like, bigger, like, flat, um, like a bronzing brush, you would call it. Because that's how I would put fake tanner on. Is with a like a big ass or you know as big as you can get like a kabuki brush kind of like that yeah jeffree star i have some of his products but i wouldn't buy anything anymore i haven't tried the morphe and jacqueline hill brushes either oh i do want jacqueline's new stuff though Ooh, definitely the bronzers and then i know i have it's over here i got she makes some nice fucking products, man. I don't give a shit what anybody says. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Because I think I bought this on clearance. And she's bringing these back. Because I remember I swatched it. And I was like, I want a different color. And then they weren't there. So I know she has a pink one. This one is called Star Power. And these are putty highlighters. And you do get 5.5 .5 grams of product or 0 0.019 ounces. I, I mean, her highlighters in general are just blinding. <laughs> I, oh my God. Just absolutely blinding. But they have like that slick texture to them. I see she's bringing these back too. Whatever they're called. I guess it's called Star Power. Or no, put just Putty Highlighter. Star Power is the name on that one. You can see it's very pretty. And then a shitload of bronzers, which I'm thinking, I already got a bunch of her blush bronzer duos, but I think the one I wanted, you know me, I just split the difference when I buy any shit like that. I wait, like she had ten shades, so I go, well, give me like the fifth one. And I want to say the one I'll pick is called Buns Out. Yeah, I think it was Buns Out. She got like tan line, Buns Out. There's that. Cute little names. Oh, I don't believe you, Patty. Yeah, even Wild makes decent brushes. She still picks them up from like Dollar Tree. Yeah, honey. I was good, girl. Washed all my brushes last week. <laughs> I got a Wet n Wild one right here. This is a Wet n Wild. Oh, highlighter brush. Hi, Emily. Exactly. That's the fun of it. We all have different favorites that we use from different brands. 
Laura says, I mean, I, she just hates Jeffree Star as a person. <laughs> Never tried any of his products. They're, I, I like his highlighters. I know that. But she wouldn't support his racist ass. Yeah, Teresa, I saw that. Huda has a new concealer. Of course, um. Oh, James Bennett. What the hell's his first name? I can't even think of his first name. He, he loves to rant. I love him. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin James Bennett. Because even other people are going, how the fuck do you have a luminous matte anything? And even he's like, you know, again, it's marketing terms and all this, but he was fucking wild. He's fun. But you got to follow him too, definitely on Instagram. I think he's on Twitter too. Kevin James Bennett. And he's a real makeup artist. He's been in the industry for years. He now does more of like product development and all kinds of shit like that. Oh, and Teresa found the new L'Oreal Serum Foundation at Walmart. I think I saw Where did I see it? I must have saw it in Walmart, too. I wasn't paying $20 for it, though. Good girl, Emily. She just washed all her brushes, too. Ah, uh, Jeffrey's stuff. I have tried his lippies in the past. I have probably two of them over here. I have his eyeliner. It doesn't work on my waterline, of course. And cute, goofy-ass packaging that takes up a lot of space. I don't even... I might have a lip liner. But I have his highlighters. Because, you know, I'm a fucking highlighter lunatic. Oh, my. Laura saw a YouTube video. I would have died. Of a video of a girl who has not washed her brushes in five years. Apparently, she didn't know you, you could wash them. Five fucking years? You, I, I can't even fucking fathom that. I granted back in the 70s and 80s, I mean, fuck, we were putting it on with a foam applicator or finger or whatever. The, you know, people didn't have brushes back then, basically. The regular public really didn't. But I think I still washed even the little foam applicators. <laughs> Holy shit. Rosie loves them too. Yep, KJB. Kevin James Bennett. I've actually met him a couple times, but he wouldn't know who the fuck I was if I if he fell over me. Oh, I couldn't even imagine five years without water. I mean, can you imagine a foundation brush? Or I mean, she'd have to be. Maybe she's one of those who uses the same blush, the same bronzer, the same thing over and over. Because I couldn't imagine sticking this brush. Like, I'm gonna do a peach blush today. Tomorrow's pink. Oh, let me. The amount of product in there. Laura, was her face all fucking broken out? I'm just curious. Like, lots of acne or anything? Because, oh my god. Oh god, the, the fucking brushes were caked in foundation. I mean, eventually it's going to get hard. And the bacteria, oh fuck. Mm. Yeah, Laura, I'd be gagging too. Good girl, Patty. Watch those brushes. Patty had the tiny little lippies of Jeffree Star. His lippies aren't bad. I mean, I do like that sheet. Oh, I got two of them here. Ah, fucker. I'm going to fall in the fucking chair. Because <laughs> I always did like the one shade androgyny. And this is where, um, Give Me Glow Cos Give Me Glow Cosmetics has a dupe for this on her site. Yeah, this is the one with the pink packaging. It's a beautiful lipstick shade. It's like totally 90s grungy. Love it. The hell's this other one I have? X Supermodel. I don't even know why the fuck I have this because I would never fucking wear this shade. <laughs> I think I probably just kept it to go. Oh, if I ever want to lighten up or if I need a light baby pink. But I do, and even on his highlighters, I really only like, um, oh, this is the drawers. I think it's called Supreme Frost. Yes, Supreme Frost. So this one's hypothermia where it goes like purple to whatever the fuck it goes to. If I get one this. And it's like, but just because I don't support this asshole doesn't mean I'm going to throw this shit out. I already fucking paid for it. There's no fucking way. 
like throw all makeup going well he's a dick so let me like you know throw my money out the fucking window no oh, thanks i'll still use the shit eventually right there this is the one that goes like pink to blue obviously as you can see but to actually pull on the blue there this mirror it looks pink and on my finger it looks purple but it's one of his like shifty ones i have like a peach one and I have a couple. A gorgeous highlighter. Is this the one I'm thinking of? Yes. These are expensive as fuck, too. They do have them on Ulta. By this brand called Elsie. E-L-C-I-E. Oh, these are fucking nice. These here. Sorry, my God, my pan's all dirty. I usually make sure I clean all that off. Gorgeous though, baked gelé highlighter. Oh my god. Here. Beautiful. Feels gorgeous. And this is in the shade uh, Luna. It's called the Eclipse highlighter. And you do get what's it saying? Or six and a half grams of product. I know I caught this one on sale somewhere. I want to say it's one of those. It's like $30, $40. <laughs> like that's like, I'm not paying that for a highlighter. Oh, those of you didn't see this week's coffee mug. Fuckity fuck, 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 fuck. I feel better now. Bye. From Snarky Nana. She's getting the shout outs tonight. <laughs> and excuse my horrible handwriting. S-N-A-R-K-Y underscore Nana. N-A-N-A. -N -A. Yeah, I wrote that horribly. I don't write that messy usually. <laughs> Okay, the woman did have acne. She, yeah, I can only imagine the acne. Hello, Miss Sarah. I can only imagine the acne you would have not washing your makeup brushes in five years. And she's probably not realizing she's getting the acne from not washing her brushes. But in, am I the only person that talks about washing brushes? That's why, like, some of these bigger influencers, Manny, all of them, I, I, some of them that get sent boxy and all that, when I see them fucking pull the brushes out of the box and start using them, I stroke out whoever the hell I'm watching. Whatever brand it is, Teresa's dead, whoever. If I see any influencer, whatever the fuck you want to call us, pull brushes right out of a bag and they have not been washed and they use them, I just like, what the fuck are you doing? You need to wash that shit before you use it. It came out of a factory for Christ's sakes. I don't care what it's wrapped in. It's already been exposed to everything in that factory of dust and there could be crap on these brushes. A clean brush, I mean, just give it a little bit of soap, wash it quick and done. That's all you gotta do. And know that you're starting with a clean brush. And it, I I don't see any big YouTuber, whatever the fuck I guess you want to call us, say like, oh, okay, yeah, I got these brushes, but I'm not going to use them because I have to wash them first. I feel like I'm the only fucking person that says it. Teresa likes washing her brushes. It's relaxing. It's not bad. <laughs> Laura said she even sent her video that she thought they were causing her acne. And Laura said, they're like, yeah, you think? <laughs> and Sarah's disappointed with Ipsy the last six months plus. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I've had fucking worse. <laughs> And it's, again, with Ipsy, I just, like, I have been with them since they started. <laughs> I think since they started, basically. I know I've been doing them for, like, a decade. Easily for a decade. Way before I was doing Instagram, any of that shit. So it's like, I just, I can't, like, let go. <laughs> like, okay. But I do like that you can pick stuff, and like I said, but now Ipsy owns Boxy, so it's like, well, do that with Boxy. Let us see, because even if you go to the part, if you go into, like, my items, and I clicked on, say I clicked on the box to go, where the fuck is my box? And if you click the thing to do your reviews, it'll show you sometimes a bunch of products, but they're not necessarily in your box. So at that point, you go, well, like, say it showed the Patrick Ta. I'd go, well, I don't know if that's technically in the box still or not. It's because it could be one of these so many items. So that's why I bought the damn Patrick Toth and got it was only 10 bucks. 
It's fuck. And Caitlin canceled hers. Yeah, I agree. Patty, we totally agree with you, girl. That is so gross when you hear someone say they haven't washed their brushes for months, let alone years. And I, and it's not the funnest job, but like I said, recently, over the past well, couple of years, I just have my bin over there that I just keep fucking chucking them in. Like sometimes I said, I'll use a brush once and throw it in there. And I've just like, okay, I pull out all the eye brushes and sometimes the highlighter brushes because they're thinner too. You know what I mean? Oof. Do those. So I'll rip through all those, take a break. In the meantime, we have all the blush brushes sitting there ready to go, blush, bronzer, powder. Then I come in, rip through those. And then the foundation ones, since sometimes they will be sitting for a month, <laughs> Where the foundation can get maybe a little crusty in there i soap them all up and i have the cleaning pad in the bottom of the sink and i just have them all in an angle and i'll stack them three deep with the soap in there got them all lathered up and i let them sit for at least a good five to ten minutes and then go in and start cleaning them and it, i find that that definitely gets the because it's giving the soap time to like get the product moving and clears those foundation brushes like that because before sometimes i'd have to Re-soap. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why is this not coming out? So that's how I wash the foundation, just to let them sit there for a few. Exactly, Terry. Not the fun funnest thing to do, but you still do it. That's what matters. In the video, she tried to wash some, and they were so bad. Oh, yeah, by that point. Can you imagine the product that would be, I mean, five years? You know that shit's in this barrel, and it's got to be all down in here. I'm surprised just from the makeup. Well, especially on the foundation brushes, if she's doing liquid. Of any liquids, did you imagine five years of liquid getting in here? All the brushes would just probably poof right apart. Ooh, Teresa got a Ipsy sent her a rather extensive survey to take. They are thinking about starting something called Ipsy Boost. Interesting. I don't think I got that. Laura, you're just a good girl. She washes her brushes every day because <laughs> she's a germaphobe. <laughs> I am too, but not that bad. <laughs> yeah, not sure what Ipsy Boost is, but Teresa's got the insider on that. I probably got an email about it and fucking open. Oh, they did send me a couple of emails I didn't open. With one of them did have a survey. Because I have, you know, work email, the bewitch17 at gmail, which is companies. And then my personal email. So most of the time I'm going through my personal email. And then even today it was cute. Someone on um, Instagram. We've been following each other for a while. He sends me some screenshots. And he's like, is this shit real? And it was from Urban Decay. And I looked at it quick. And I went, yeah. Went, yeah. And I go, well, let me check my Gmail. <laughs> so I checked my Gmail. And I had the exact same email, so I hit him back. I'm like, dude, it's real. I got my email, too. So expect some Urban Decay stuff in July. But I've had several people send screenshots of stuff to me to go, is this a real company? Because we, anybody that does any kind of Instagram, all that, you get flooded with so many shit emails from, we'll sell you followers or buy you followers and 20% commission and, you know, do the fucking shit just non-stop and it's like no half the shit you don't even answer okay Trish said ipsy boost is another extra where ipsy would offer a high-end full-size product for an extra 10 bucks all right depends on the product i'm talking about the brushes See, that's what I like about Ipsy 2 Laura, is that we can pick at least three of our products. And I do like the sales at Boxy, too. So, yeah, that's kind of why I kind of do them, too. If Laura can find the video about the crazy chick with the brushes, she'll let us know next Saturday. Marsha, wash those brushes. She used her Sigma eye brushes right out of the package. Just quick, quick clean. Just a little, little, little soap and water. Especially for right around your eyes. <laughs> and I don't blame you. She's not wearing foundation, blush, highlighter, and concealer anymore due to masks. 
I still put it all on and still do do wear a damn mask. I think Patty, yeah, they let you do that now that she's ordered from Ipsy without having a subscription. Well, Marsha, don't forget, make sure you take those um the little thing they give you where your profile. Cause you can pick like just makeup, just skincare, a mix of both. Like mine's a mix of both. So if you want just makeup, just change all your choices, your preferences, just to makeup. You should just get makeup. Then if you don't, I bet you can blast them. Good girl, Marsha cleans your eyelash curlers and really well and soaks them in alcohol. Yeah, mine, like I said, I have um the nail brushes upstairs, you know, like the double-sided nail brushes, my Golta. It costs like a buck or two. And I take those soap it up and jam this through the brush because then it gets, I mean, these little pads pop right out too. So you can pop the little purple pad out and clean it and just make sure everything's all clean. You can definitely give it a little alcohol soap because it is going right next to your eyeballs. But at least the skincare, Caitlin, I got to give it to them. It's usually pretty good. Some of it, like, especially getting like Dr. Brand shit like that. I'll take it. She would never pay $30 for that palette. Yeah, most, yeah, no. <laughs> exactly. They love to add skincare to make that, oh, it's a $64, you know, face mask. Caitlin says, how do they get it, it for so cheap to begin to sell it to us for that price? Because in reality, this highlighter costs, what, 18 fucking dollars? Probably cost Pixie a dollar to make this. Everything's just profit. When you're making shit by the hundreds of thousands or millions of pieces, it ain't costing them dick <laughs> to make these products. Indie brands, they're paying for it. Especially if, you know, because if they have to buy all the product, especially indie brands that are making it themselves. And outsourcing it too is going to cost you money. But if I have to sit here and order in all the pigments, the pans, the packaging, and then you're going to need boxes to put the shit in to ship it to people. So you got to think of all those expenses. And if you're talking multi-chromes, duo-chromes, those pigments cost more, especially multi-chromes. That's why sometimes a multi-chrome eyeshadow that's in like a small pan may cost us like 20 bucks. On an indie girl, it probably cost her 15. She'll be lucky she's making money off of it. And plus everything's, you know, prices through the roof. I am in Connecticut, Sarah. Teresa said it's wine time. Yeah, it's like advertising. They put the products in the boxes. People like them. They repurchase at full price. And it's a good way. That's why shit ends up like, again, some people freak out about like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. It's back stock. They got to get rid of it. <laughs> so it's like, and then there's people who work at say TJ Maxx, Marshalls. They'd be considered like a, a buying agent or some shit. And they'll go to... You know, whichever brands, they have all their contacts and be like, yo, what do you got? Oh, well, we got, you know, some NARS and we'll sell it to you for this. And then they know, okay, we're well, going to sell it to us for this. And then we can charge the consumer however much. And even though they sometimes backtrack down and obviously with sale prices, what the fuck? They're still making money. You know, because now the companies bought it from NARS. Every, everybody's still making their money. Don't worry about that. They're not technically losing money, I don't think. Exactly, Marsha. The, make, the markup on makeup is incredible. The markup on everything is incredible. I think furniture is, what, 700%, something like that? It's insane. Exactly. They also put things in boxes and bags that are about to change formulas, things like that. But they got to get rid of the product. Exactly, because they did that with Ace... Bute, Bute, whatever the fuck it's called, but it's a B E A U T E. They like change their formula. I have their older formula. I don't think it's that fucking bad. I'm not going to repurchase all the shit to fuck. Kicked me out there for a second. Exactly, Marsha. There's really no reason to pay full price for any makeup nowadays because everything is going to end up on sale <laughs> somewhere down the fucking road. I mean, even Makeup Revolution. These go for like 15 bucks. It's still a good value at $15. I mean, you get how many? What are you in there? 15? 18 shadows. Even at 15 bucks, 
and then you end up in TJ Maxx for $6. It's the same quality. Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> and the like an expiration date really wouldn't start until you opened it. So that's when the air hits it. But that's why certain things, they even skincare, could only sit on a shelf so long. It's going to go. Excuse me, it's going to go bad. Anything's going to go fucking bad. Laura says their old formula, she likes it just as much as their new formula on Ace Beauty. And they would be considered, I would say, like an indie brand. And Dominique Cosmetics, that's Kristen Dominique. I like I have a whole fucking shitload of her stuff up there, too. There's some more Jacqueline over here. Now, like, one person I won't buy from, unfortunately, is Samantha Ravendahl. Her shit's just out of my price range, period. And her products, I really wouldn't get a lot of use out of that. I don't use, like, I know her thing's kind of a dupe for the, what's it called, Charlotte Tilbury. Is it just Flawless Filter? Because I thought her foundation had that kind of name, too. Oh, okay, the foundation is Airbrush something. But that's, she has some really high prices. And even that like collab she did with, I think she did a collab with Sigma. Again, those were brushes that a couple of them were already available. And that price tag on that bundle was like $120. I was just like, sorry, <laughs> I can't pay for that. And I like Samantha, cool chick. But, but Wayne Goss, no, I have no problem buying Wayne. Love me, Wayne. I've been watching Wayne as long as he's probably on YouTube, too. Over a decade, I've been watching him. Love me some Wayne. I will be buying that palette. Probably, like, I think Teresa said it launches, what, Tuesday? I'm sure I'll be buying that Tuesday on Beautylush. And that's the only place you can get Wayne stuff, is Beautylush. And I thought he had me at with the one palette that I love. I think it's, what, the Tourmaline? Is that the one I like? It has, like, the mauves in it. But then even when I saw the new one, I was like, oh, God, I got to have it. And you know me, I'd rather have crazy fun shadows. But Wayne is just great formula and love his stuff. Marsha doesn't mind paying full price for Pat McGrath holiday palettes. But even I've seen those on sale afterwards. Marsha, you going to buy that new palette with the six shadows in it that I was talking about last week? They have half a gram of product per shade. I want to see how many people figure that one out. Oh my God, yeah, Caitlin. Like the money that is made on an eyeshadow palette that is like $130. Mind blowing. Right. Again, like a Tom Ford lipstick. I have them somewhere. Tom's around here somewhere. I don't know where Tom is. $55 lipstick. It's lipstick. You are paying for Tom Ford's name. His, and his packaging is pretty with the black, with like the gold around it. Okay, yes, it's pretty. Very many has over here. It's probably in my bag because I'm trying to go, um, the 55 fucking dollar lipstick. I'm going to make sure I goddamn use it. <laughs> and even Gina and I laughingly bought that at one of like the 20% off sales, you know, probably a year and a half ago, two years ago, where we're just like, we have to see what the fuck a $55 lipstick is. And it's just a lipstick. Can you dupe it? Sure. All day long. Exactly. Shop Miss A. That's what I was saying about like those blender sponges. Last week was, that, those were in boxy. Three full-size sponges, three mini sponges were like 60 or $65. And it was like, bite me. Bite me. Everybody has a fucking, that hip dot even has their dupe. Real Techniques. Um, Shop Miss A, the AOA blender sponges. I've heard people rave about those. Beauty Bakery. I know I've tried those. Very nice sponges. And they come like a little egg curtain. And to be like, those cost $65? Fuck me. You're lucky you paid, they, they're lucky they paid $6 for those. They probably didn't even pay $6 for them. That's how I think about it too, Caitlin. Of, I don't need to see the crazy packaging. I give a fuck what's inside of it. That's why I, I, I watched so many videos back in the day, or just even on Instagram. Oh my God, the packaging. I'm like, okay, yeah, it's it's a bonus, I guess, to have cute packaging. Like say, oh, this rose quartz, it's pretty. Yes, it, you know, it's iridescent and all that. If it was just a 
fucking pink outside with rose quartz written on it. Okay. It's the, I want this inside. This is what's going on my face, not the fucking palette. So I want the eyeshadow quality to be there if I'm paying for it. I mean, like I said, people love to bash. I, well, this is actually I Heart Revolution, the makeup revolution. And I'm like, I don't have any fucking issues with them usually. You know, it's eyeshadow. Okay, Lorianne's only beauty box tried, but it's Walmart's. One of the girls in the office gets the Walmart beauty box. It's not that bad. She always shows it to me when she gets it. And that brand you can be, I have a bunch of videos on them. I buy their stuff on Amazon. Their stuff's not bad either. Okay, Marsha went to the Sephora and tried to test out those Denessa Myricks foil pots. Primer. I think we were playing with these last week. These things? Any shit like this is going to dry out. That's why if there's like a stopper in it, you got to make sure, yeah. Or keep like the little thing from inside. Because, yeah, you keep letting air in here, it's going to dry up. It's a gel formula. Even um, pot eyeliners and shit, they dry up. Gel eyeliner and a pencil, like Marc Jacobs. Love those gel eyeliners. But could, because it doesn't touch the packaging, it's not like, you know, a sharpenable form. Since the air can get into that tube, it dries them out. I, I like Wayne's foundation, too. I agree. Very nice. I've showed you that trick, Teresa, haven't I? Using colored bases? I've done thousands of these. Especially with multi-chromes and duochromes, you're going to want a dark base, because that's what makes it pop. But that's where I've even bought some colored ones to go, hey, if I know that, you know, is going to be, I'm putting a purple or a pink over this. Of course. And of course, white. I would tend to use a white primer. Well, this is going to stay white. You know, you're, your fucking eyes going to be bright white with pastels. Because that'll help a pastel pop. But it's always good to have. And like I said, you don't have to buy shit like this. You could just use a black eyeliner. Fucking can put down black eyeshadow. You know, just a black base to make those colors pop. I know I've showed you that. I know I've showed you that. Because even the Danessa, I think I have a white one. There. This might be clear, though. I think it's actually clear. Oh, Indie Blue's coming to hit. Yeah, this one's clear. Okay. It looks white, but it's actually good. There's nothing here in my hand. It goes on clear. But it's just a base. So this would be one of the things like, fuck, I need to spend, like, you know, whatever to get free shipping. <laughs> Blue, you can take the you can take the bubble wrap. All my cats are addicted to bubble wrap. It's funny. Marsha's gonna be buried with her palettes. We're all gonna be buried with our makeup. <laughs> I know Charlotte's packaging. Some of it gets me too. What was the recent one? The highlighter. I, did I need another highlighter? No, but it, it's pretty, but the highlighter's pretty, too. I like it. <laughs> but she likes ColourPop, too, and appreciates their pricing more. Exactly. Um, Marsha, does the Danessa Myrix flake off your eyes? It can. It's definitely, you gotta fuck with it. It's like any, yeah. Any of those flaky ones I have, I'm finding it's almost like less is more because the hard thing is, even if you, when you've seen me fucking around playing with stuff like this on here, do I have anything that would, I have a pink, no, it's fucking green and that one's blue. Um, especially on those flakes, because what, while you're putting it on, you're seeing one thing, like I said, then if you go outside and take your mirror and start looking from different angles and different lighting, that's where sometimes I, I did on one of them. I think we saw it where it looked 
like the flakes weren't breaking apart. So it looked like I had dots of sparkles all over my eyes, which from a distance looked cool. But if someone, nobody's getting in my fucking face, but anybody who was up close would be like, what the fuck? Almost like a, I don't want to say like a lizard texture, but it looked funky up close, but from, you know, a decent amount away, it looked fine. But I think it's definitely used less. And that's on any of these, like, shimmery, this one's sugar drizzle. And that's why a lot of times you'll see me put these on with a brush. Plus, I don't want to get the applicator dirty. I'm pretty... I, I might have showed white bases. I know I've showed it on black. Marsha sold the only Tilbury palette she owned. Tilbury is so one day... I like her palettes. I have... Three of her eyeshadow palettes. They're nice. They're just everyday eyeshadow palettes, though. So. Uh, Sarah's wondering, did anybody else grab the Glow Recipe set Ipsy had for $35? I didn't, but I ended up with another one of the Plum Perfect. <laughs> oh, I think I put it down below. And I have backups of Glow. So it's like, oh my God, well, I have way too much skincare that I'm trying to fly through. That's why I was like trying to be good sometimes. Of I even catch myself like, go look first. Oh, I know what I bought. They had in the thing the tart that spray that setting spray that I use just as a feels nice spray on my face. <laughs> they had that for ten bucks. Uh, that's definitely one of the items I bought from the drop shop. That the Patrick Ta and something else. But they were like three high end products. Maybe I bought a blush. I don't fucking know. There's three items. Yeah, buddy girl. <laughs> Marsha being buried with all the pellets. I need a fucking <laughs> whole goddamn store to bury me in. <laughs> Teresa, why had this happen? She was a good girl. Could she pass? Because she had a bunch of glow. Oh, trend mood box. Yes, that's Monday. All right. <laughs> what the hell's in that? I plan on getting it, but I have goddamn gyno at like 11 o'clock. But it goes live at what? 12 or 1. I'll get it on my phone. Um, what the hell's in there? I want to say there's maybe a Kiehl's. There's a bunch of skincare. There's, I think, it, those are Kiehl's. Fuck. I, I have to get a second phone. So I can look up shit while I'm on here with you. I saw today that there's definitely three items from the Alicia Keys line. That Keys Soul Care. You will get two lippies. I want to say they're lip balms. I know I didn't have any of those. And then they're also doing um, one of her cream blushes, which is nice because I have one in here from one of the other boxes. But at least I knew it was a different color than what I've gotten. It looks more of a berry shade. And that was a nice blush. That actually, once you put it on, shit, it was still on 10, 12 hours later. I was like, holy shit, I still have blush on? For some reason, blush always like sucks into your face. Uh, Sarah, she grabbed three when it came up, and two of the products were... Oh, shit! She grabbed three, and when it came in, two of the products were tiny, tiny samples. Oh, fuck! <laughs> That's where I always try to read on skincare of what the size is to make sure of. And that's where, in Ipsy especially, of it's like, oh, if it's the $5, they're going to be minis at the $5. But $35, I'm surprised there was minis. I thought it was on Monday. The 20th, I thought she said. Tomorrow's the 19th. Yeah, it's Monday. And you can either just go to the Trend Mood box on Instagram or go to Definitely, which is another good one. My Subscription Addiction. She always has lists of all the subscription boxes. I'm not talking thousands of them. <laughs> and she does have the spoilers. Oh, I'm sure they will, Laura. She's trying to hold out to get that pharmacy toner back on sale. They'll put it back on sale. Or mix my ashes with all my shades. <laughs> we'll just declutter Brenda in with all the eyeshadows. Well, I wouldn't pay $28 for it either. 
No, we get we get addicted to this stuff and and boxy. <laughs> It'll be out there. Trend moves Monday. No, I, I, she said the twentieth, so it's Monday. Because I remember when I saw the twentieth, I immediately went, "Fuck! I get to get a colleges," but that's like at eleven. I think it's the one. So me and mom will be at lunch by then. Yeah, we'll definitely be probably at lunch or something. Because we, mom, that's my mother goes to the doctor with me. <laughs> it's just because we go shopping after. <laughs> it's in a town we used to live in called Wallingford. So it's about a good half hour away from here. And that's, you know, jumping the highway and everything. But that's just, I used to live there. So she's my doctor and what the hell. Then we go to town and we always have lunch there. And then there's like. Uh, Bed Bath Beyond or Bath and Body Works or the fucking candles, Marshalls, all those. TJ Maxx. So we tend to hit them and just do a little, let's see what we got here. You know, fun mother daughter day. That Marsha Brenda would need an above ground crypt. <laughs> I need a double wide <laughs> to go in the afterlife. It's exactly, bunny girl. Instead of flowers, bring pallets and throw them. <laughs> There'll be pallets there, and everybody gets to throw one in the fucking casket. <laughs> and Marsha's being a good girl. She quit buying backups of anything because something new always comes around and replaces it. That's true, too. Yes, good brushes instead of flowers. <laughs> what face brushes fitting in those tiny pans? Yeah. These ones I've got. <laughs> yeah. These what the little Pat McGrath are going to look like. <laughs> I mean, luckily it's on the sides. That's the only bonus. So, I mean, I just used a smaller, this is a smaller blush brush. So I was able to just kind of keep it on the side of the product. But they, they did swatch nice. I, I got to say, they, and even this was shocking. I didn't think this would swatch that well. But that's Versiate. It's complete hit or miss with them. And even Rare Beauty that we fucked around with last week. I was shocked at this too. I mean, I'll never touch that fucking glitter. I mean, she's got to dump these big ass pressed glitters. Get rid of those in the pan? I would actually buy this. You know, other shades, but I do not want any pressed glitter if they're all like that. There's no fucking way I'd pay for that. No way. The flower beauty aside. Yeah, even the eyeshadow brush was, and that's a smaller one. I mean, here's two different sizes. It is tiny. I can do my get my fingers in there. So that's the tiny brush. And then, so it it, it fits barely. <laughs> it, you can get in there. I wouldn't pay like $30 for this. No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, exactly. More of those press glitters. And it does. It gets in the other shades and it's messy. And even when I fuck around here and play with all these glitters and shimmers, I have to go upstairs and literally like, thank God I always have regular eye drops or re-wetting drops or anything like that. And I am in there just like, dumping that shit in my eyes and rolling my eyes and even like an hour later go back in with q-tips and get it out of the inside corner and make sure it's all out of the lash line and and even still sometimes i'll put in the sty drops you know if you get a sty in your eye because it never fails so sometimes one piece of glitter gets buried and you know sty starts popping out so i just even put that in to go fuck it crazy 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 Can't waste this tea. This should cost me money. <laughs> That's my, we just call it funny tea on here. My medicinal tea and medicinal honey. That shit gets a little pricey. It's like 18 bucks for five tea bags or something. It's like, what? But it tastes good and it does mellow me down. Lori, you'll be finding glitter all over the place after 10 showers. Oh, God, yeah. Me and my massage therapist were laughing yesterday about glitter. She's like, her niece had something with glitter literally like two years ago. And it was literally like last week. She was like, she vacuums all the time like the rest of us. And she's like, where'd this fucking glitter come from? 
I'm like, girl, that shit just, it's like Christmas tree needles. I had a Christmas tree in here, I think, twice. I'm not a holiday person. And those fucking needles, you would, you'd find them forever. Because the cats, they're, you know, running around and, and dogs and, oh, fuck. I mean, the Christmas trees look ridiculous. First off, I don't do holidays. And it, I have big dogs. Well, I had two big dogs. Well, I've had all big dogs. <laughs> the German Shepherd and the Siberian Husky. And first off, they want to fuck with the ornaments. And then they're over there with their tails. And then the cats are playing with the shit. I, literally, the, from the... <laughs> There would be a gap of at least three feet, if not more, of just nothing. No, and you can't use tinsel if you have cats because they're going to fucking eat that and that could kill them. So no tinsel, which, and I like tinsel. It looks fun. And I was just like, fuck this. This is a pain in the ass. You're fucking cutting down a tree to put in my house. I don't need a fucking tree in my house. Oh, absolutely, Marsha. Pressed glitters can actually damage your eyes. They can scratch your cornea. Yes, they can. And Laura does not like tubing mascara. I think Tarte just came out with a new tubing mascara. I've never had a problem with the tubing ones. It is weird to get off because you got to like wet your eye and then grab your... Because I you always want to be careful. But I don't want to rip my eyelashes out. But just get them wet and then grab a hold and pull the little tubes off. And it is freaky to see like these little tubes in your hand. Oh, that mug's not available at the moment. Oh, bummer. Maybe I got the last one. There was a couple. Trust me. I had to be a good girl. But I did like, like I said, this is 16 ounces. Well, I think it on there it says 15 ounces. But I fit two cups of water in here. So this is like a double. Because most, my other littler coffee cups that say, fuck you across them and all that, those are eight ounce. So this is double the size. And it's just fun that it has, yeah. One of them says like bitch fuel and, oh, she's got some funny ones. But I was like, I, oh, which one am I going to get? Oh, fuck it. I'm just going to get the fucking fuck. <laughs> She'll probably get him back in. Exactly, Laura. Laura did a tree last year and picked up ornaments every day thanks to the cat. Because <laughs> they do. That's like, oh, mom put balls up in the air so we can play with them. That sounds fun, too. <laughs> oh, God. What is it? This thing. How am I doing on time here? 1030. How did I start? 11. Or 8. 11. I mean, that eyeliner's a bitch to get off. I'll give it that. So it definitely would work on the skin. myself over. <laughs> ah. I already needs a big coffee cup because she had so much creamer. I don't do too much creamer. Oh, Sarah's getting her husband's niece's cat Wednesday to foster. Oh, that'll be fun. It's hard to give him back, though. Oh, Laura's coffee's like a sweet treat in the morning. I just do, I have all these different flavored coffees, and then creamer-wise, I just use that was it, International Delights or some shit? The Hershey Chocolate one or the Caramel Mac Macchiato. Those main two that I buy all the time. But I could just use regular half and half or I can drink it fucking black. And then, yeah, I do iced coffee. I take that to work, without a doubt. And I do iced coffee year-round. It can be 20 below out and I'll take an iced coffee to work. And then Marsha drinks iced coffee with keto cinnamon moolah milk. Oh, well, Sarah, y'all please pray for me. My mouth is all messed up and I'm finally trying to eat. Oh, girl, I feel you on the mouth shit. A couple weeks ago, you know, what is it? Well, maybe a month at this point. Had a uh, implant go bad. So they had to rip that fucker out. Then I have, well, this time it's synthetic bone. But I've had a full mouth done of uh, bovine and cadaver bone. Because my bones just, especially in my mouth. And I'm a teeth grinder and all this. So I'm still waiting on this now to heal. To uh, 
make another mouth guard. Fuck. Can't wait for that. And Sarah said, Ipsy adds $1.49 to each purchase of add-on type things. Oh, I did not know that. That might be that new shipping and handling thing. I know we got emails about it. And that's why I got suckered into, oh, just, and I always, like, I laughed, like, a lure I pay for the year. I know boxy, one of them I pay for the year, probably the regular size box. Let's see if it had Ipsy. I didn't even realize that it was just coming out of my debit. Because it's like, what was it, $28 or whatever the fuck it is. I thought I already was paying for the year on I was like, oh, fuck you, idiot. Because I'd rather pay for the year on certain boxes because then you are getting a discount normally. Because I've done them all. Birch box, lip monthly. I, fuck, I've done so many of them. I've grabbed the occasional. Um, well, even Give Me Glow used to do them back in the day, which was great. When she did curated boxes, which were fun. She'd do them for sometimes holidays and... And it was great. I loved when Gimme Glow did that. Who's having a sale right now? Pretties for your face, which I talked about last week and the week before because I did a huge haul from her recently. I think she has mystery boxes on sale right now for like 40% off. I don't know what's in the mystery box, obviously, because it's a mystery. But I think she said she's having another big sale next week, too. Nora's not sure either. She didn't see that about the add-ons i have to check oh because yeah it comes up at the bottom i'm probably just like check out click off and <laughs> i probably didn't even look either i don't know if you're getting charged for those what else was going on told you about revlon definitely that's why i dragged down the otzi because i was like i know i saw them i was like fuck you're going out of business shit but this is a great value this is on sale for like 12 dollars at sephora this is the Crystal Nova Makeup Removing Cleanser. And I only need one pump at a time, like I said. I don't know if the mask was on there, but they said they're on Amazon or their site also. So this mask is like never ending. How many grams are in here? There's just so much product in here. Yeah, Lily says, wait five minutes. Yeah, it dries quickly. Okay, there's 100 mils of product in this, or 3.38 ounces. Like I said, this stuff just, I'll put them on my finger. It's bouncy. It has this real bouncy, jiggly texture. But the littlest amount, you know, it'll just go. <laughs> You don't have to put on, you know, thick layers of anything, but this will dry quickly. I'd use this one, was it last night, night before? I have so many goddamn masks, I'm always trying to get rid of those too. I'm usually trying to go through my glam glow and all that. I probably used it because I was like, use it and then put it aside to bring downstairs so you don't forget. Yeah, because this will dry real quick. Oh, Sarah's been getting that little added Ipsy thing on every purchase, and she's in Texas. You must be hotter than hell down there, girl. Marsha will not use anything with high fructose corn syrup like those coffee creamers. I can taste that crap. I don't know. I like them. <laughs> the one that's definitely gross is the coffee mate. That one's disgusting. I literally stopped at Walgreens. I must have been picking up a prescription. I was like, fuck any coffee creamer. And they were they usually have at least that caramel macchiato, even if it's a smaller bottle. And for some reason, like the creamers were wiped out. And I was like, I don't think that half and half. And I was like, well, fuck, let me get this coffee mate one. I, I put it once into the coffee, was like, oh fuck, no. I finished the cup just to finish the goddamn cup and I threw it out. It was disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And that's, oh, poor Laura, she's using the coffee mate. Oh, I just couldn't do it. I like Stevia, too, to sweeten things. The OT, Teresa does like the OT mask. It was a little drying. Can be, because it is, that's what it's kind of for, is to pull out everything, I think. 
targets pores, dullness, equals smoother, brighter skin. It's that kale and clay plus rice-derived ceramide. Yeah, but it's a, it's a vegan product. This is K-Beauty. They sent me over, I think, both those products. And I still fucking use them. Like said, this is dry already. It's just that quick. And then once I have this on my face, you can either just hit it with water and do it that way, but I usually just take a, an actual washcloth with not hot water. I don't put hot water on my face. Warm water. And take one of either like those clean club cloths or just a washcloth. Soak it with the water and then press it against my face and hold it there to let like the mask re-wet and then just gently wipe it away. Either way. Comes right off. Yeah, my hand doesn't feel dry or anything. But we all got different skin. We're all living in totally different parts of the United States. I mean, Laura's down south. Sarah's in Texas. I'm in Connecticut. Rosie's out in Cali. <laughs> all right, we're, we're all over, which is fun because then we all see different sides of everything. Tracy, you're where up in Michigan? Or Canada? Where'd you move to? Good girl. Laura got through some moisturizer. She goes through the moisturizers the fastest. Then serums and cleansers. She finished several off this past week. We're proud of you too, girl. Perfect Patty. Patty took a bunch of skincare samples, masks, and perfume samples to her sister's Memorial Day party and gave away goodie bags. Exactly. And that's where I have like boxes for all my girls. Oh, I know Gina would like this. Veronica would like this. <laughs> oh, this is mom. Yeah, you know, and it's just everybody has their own bags. Of, oh, bring, give this to Sarah. Yeah, you know, so I try to you know keep all my friends in stock of, well, I'm never going to use this. You know, certain things just go. And then, oh, afterwards, okay, let's donate this. Oh, this is going to go to this woman's center. Give them this. Can't keep everything. Oh, that's good, Marsha. Marsha's been drinking the Suzanne Summers Gut Renew Daily for a meal replacement. Pricey, but she feels better using it. Well, as long as you feel better using it, that's all that matters. Oh, Teresa's in Tennessee. That's right. Yeah, it's hot as hell down here. Did you see of that? Teresa's, yeah. Laura's neighbor to the north. <laughs> and Marsha's dried up like a popcorn fart in Arizona. <laughs> She had to cut away the necrotic skin from her heels today. Ooh, gotta do it though. I know Texas is over 100. I've seen that. The whole like Texas, the whole kind of center of the country and down south has just been getting fucking pounded. I'm up here today like in the 60s. Going, as I'm going, it's kind of chilly out. What the fuck is this? <laughs> and it was this close like, do I shut the air conditioning off or don't I? Because even the other night, it was like, ooh, it's nice and cool out in the breeze. You know, it depends which way it's coming. I'm like, ooh, it's coming in the window. Even though I had the air conditioning on, but I'm like, fuck it, open the bedroom window, let some real air in. <laughs> but then Greg mowed the lawn today and all that. So it's like, I can't go out after anybody mows the lawn. Because then it's just, I'm shot. I used to live in Vegas, so trust me, I know the 120 degree heat. Or at least in Vegas, it was a dry heat. Down south, it's like a fucking swamp. <laughs> it's just hotter than fuck. I have been to South Carolina in dead of summer, all that. It's like, holy fucking shit. And even up here in Connecticut, when it gets humid, eh, just, oh my God. Oh, Christ, it's going to be over 100 degrees every day next week. Shit. And it's, that's where I've always been screaming about climate change and global warming of, when you used to look at maps back in the day, it would be like, oh, it's hot here, a little down here. The center of the country's, you know, East Coast. Now it's like the whole country is like almost one fucking color. Going, mm -hmm. Everything's melting. Didn't I, I even saw where was like some bizarre article of a ton. I'm talking like over, it was five to 10,000. It was some crazy amount of cows fucking died from the heat. Because I guess you guys in the center of the country, Iowa, all them, maybe. 
I don't know if it was like all of a sudden up to 100 degrees, but the humidity was like 100% to boot, which is like, that would never happen in the middle of the country, which is so weird of how they got that high humidity. But I guess a bunch of cows dropped fucking dead from the heat. Uh, okay, that's fucking hot when you have cows just falling the fuck over dying. And that sucks for the ranchers because that's technically money out of their pocket. I mean, they raised them to feed us. Oh, God, yeah, Laura. She feels bad for people who work outdoors. I would shit in Vegas, driving down the street at, you know, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's when it would get really hot. That's anywhere because now everything's had time to bake all day. And you would see the guys out doing yard work or, you know, lawn maintenance going, Fuck, dude, I'm dying in the car with air conditioning on. And how the fuck are they out there working in it? But it is a different heat. But I don't know what's going to happen to Vegas. I mean, fucking Lake Mead is drying up, like, to nothing. And it was funny. I almost <laughs> I was going to take scuba diving lessons back in the day. It was like, I go, where the fuck would we do scuba diving lessons? I figured in a pool somewhere. Oh, at Lake Mead. I said, oh, fuck no. I am not going in that lake. I don't do lakes. If I can't see where my feet are touching, I ain't going in it. And I always just thought back to all the mobster days. And I was like, can you imagine the amount of people that are in that lake, like bodies chained down with the concrete blocks and all this shit? I'm like, then if they were digging holes in the desert, but I'm pretty sure they used Lake Mead back in the day too. I'm going, And I think they've found bodies recently. I was like, uh-huh, I knew that shit was down there. Smoke trees got a police officer friend. He's been riding around all week. Oh. Yeah, Marsha, you would get a little humidity in Arizona. Not much. Oh, I believe it, Laura. You can break a sweat, walk into your car. It's only about 20 feet away. I, yeah. Down south, hell yeah. Oh, good, sir. She's thankful that her husband works third shift, so he isn't in an unconditioned warehouse all day. Oh, my God, that would be brutal. Actually, when I worked at one of the lumber yards in Vegas... Being a big lumber yard, it wasn't um, air conditioned either. And of course, they wanted you to wear these stupid, like a vest with your fucking name tag. And of course, the thing is like polyester. So it's like, oh my God, this thing is just trapping in heat. So I'm like, what this thing? I've worked the special order desks at all lumber yards I've ever worked at. But I put the name tag, you know, just on my fucking shirt. And of course, I get called to the office and, you know, get my ass chewed. I'm like, fucking bite me. A thousand fucking degrees on that floor, and that polyester shit is just like keeping the heat in. What's the problem? People can see I work here, I have a fucking name tag on. I'm standing behind the desk. I'm not like working on the floor. I'm like, fuck. I quit that job. No more. It pisses Laura off when people complain about the cold weather. At least you can put on more clothes. You can only take off so much. Well, legally, at least. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, that happens to March of the homeless. They end up, unfortunately, dying more from the heat. That happens everywhere. I know, Patty. They found bodies since that water's receded. <laughs> Funny girl. For her annual white elephant game, her friends try to cheat to see which gift is hers because it's filled with makeup etc they fight over like it for vultures <laughs> uh the bodies would be in lake mead nevada outside of vegas that's their water source and it's drying the fuck up because the colorado river and all that didn't have the snow this year to make the ice melt to keep the colorado river going and vegas i mean i'm sure i would hope that all the stupid water shows and all the shit outside, I'm hoping they just recycle that water, but they've always wasted a ton of fucking water there. I would see people in, like, when we had Connecticut, I have lawns, green fucking grass, all that shit. It's a pain in the ass. Move to Vegas. Thank God you could just have your whole yards on rock. Pebbles, stones, whatever. You may have to pluck a couple weeds. You got some cactuses. You're in the fucking desert. That's what you should have. You have the shit that goes with the climate you fucking live in. Of course, you got these rich assholes and whoever. They want a green fucking lawn. At point, dude, it's like, oh, and they would lie to people, especially Vegas, because you're talking, it's tourist destination more than anything. 
because I would catch like the weather and they'd be like, oh, it's, you know, 90. And I'm looking at my fucking thermometer outside going, bitch, it's 110 out. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? So they would almost downplay the weather a lot, which was wild because my driveway would even melt. It was like, you know, just a tar driveway. And it would get so fucking hot that I could leave foot imprints in it. I'm one of those assholes that could have took a fucking egg and like fried it on the goddamn hood of the car. It was fucking hot. Granted, it was dry heat, but dry heat or fucking humid heat, it's fucking hot as hot. I think they might, Laura, in certain states where they'll have cooling centers for the homeless. Just like in the winter here, we would have, like you said, heating ones. And Sarah said they have cooling stations there in Texas. I know you guys had a big problem with your power grid. Yeah, Michigan winters were brutal. That's one thing I definitely miss. Don't miss about living there. Ah, uh, Teresa, I'm heading off too because the phone just told me it's about to fucking die on me. Oh my God, Yellowstone. Holy shit. That was crazy too, seeing that fucking house, just whole fucking huge house ripped into that fucking river. I think Yellowstone's closed till next year now, they said. They have so much fucking damage. I was like, holy fuck. Oh yeah, climate change is absolutely real and people are killing the planet. Absolutely. fucking I've been saying it for years and people always just, Brenda's an asshole. Yeah, sure, whatever, you don't fucking believe me. Yellowstone. Sarah likes the cold because the heat makes you sick and causes your HS to act up so bad. Yeah, and that's where you got to figure out where to live sometimes. That's why a lot of people from, like, it's probably everywhere. But say we have people that come up like, oh, I'm going to live in Connecticut in the summer. And then they go down and live in Florida for the winter, like snowbirds. And I, so people used to go to Arizona to do that. And it's just picking... <coughs> excuse me, somewhere in the United States that works with, you know, your body systems. That's why a lot of people with like asthma and all that, allergies out here would go to Arizona because they, then they wouldn't have the allergies. Yellowstone had major flooding. It's like shut down. Marcia said houses are falling into Lake Michigan every year because the water levels being so high. Oh yeah. Yeah, severe flooding. Shit's everywhere. Hurricanes, all that shit. They all just keep getting bigger and bigger and, you know, fuck with Mother Nature. She'll do whatever the fuck she wants. That's why I was like, even during COVID when like the whole world was kind of shut down, I'll never forget the pictures they showed from India of, you know, this specific monument. Normally you can never see the sky because there was just so much fucking smog and all that. And even LA can be like that. And now Vegas too. Vegas, it's in a bowl. It actually sits like in a bowl in the mountains. And when I lived there back in the early 90s, it wasn't bad. But as I would go back over the years and, you know, we'd go out of town and out to the mountains and come back in and I could just see those fucking smog layer that I would see like going to L.A. Because you just drive to L.A. in a couple hours. As you're coming in, you're just like, you could see the fucking smog and shit going, you're fucking breathing that down there. Like, fuck. It's bad. Yeah, it de definitely, Lord, destroyed so much of the park. Definitely one of the entrances may not even reopen. What kind of edibles am I using? I only had the tea. Tonight it was just tea and honey. The tea, ha the tea bag, I think, is 20 milligrams. It's either 10 or 20, and the honey's like 10. Like last week, I did a fucking brownie edible. <laughs> I was lit up last week. <laughs> I never film high. It's just not my thing. But it was just, it was fun though. Oh, wow. Because uh, the brownie, any edibles, especially like the, I get brownies or cookies, it can take like two hours to kick in. So it was funny. Like I started at eight by 10 o'clock. I was like, oh yeah, I'm fucking high as a kite. And that's where the makeup, remember I was just going fucking mental. Remember I had the highlighter all under <laughs> both eyes. I'm upstairs even Greg's like, that's new. 
I'm like, dude, I'm high as a kite. Fuck, man. I go in so much fallout that I said I put fucking highlighter over and Greg was dying laughing. Do I need a script for them? Yes, I have a medical marijuana card from the state of Connecticut. I have to pay for it. I have to pay a hundred bucks for it for the the little card. And then I it's a you know dispensary. I have to do it online or pick what the hell you want. And then you just, I always just pay cash. It's easier to pay cash. But they actually have like a point thing too. Like I don't know, still haven't figured out how it works because I can't look up my own points, but occasionally the girl will be like, Would you want to use any of your credit? And sometimes it'll be like, well, how much I got? And she'll be like, oh, $25. I'm like, oh, no, let that roll. And then, you know, a couple orders later, I'll be like, how much money do I have? And it can be like, oh, you have $50. And then sometimes I'm like, fuck yeah, take that order. So I've walked out of there with an order for like either free. So I call them, I laugh, I call them my pot points. I go, oh my God, I have pot points and Ulta points and Sephora points and TJ Maxx rewards. And... <laughs> Yes, Laura's lit up every Saturday. Oh, Sarah, it's only that you see part of the chat no matter how many times I select live chat. Well, I'm lit up every night too, but <laughs> I just don't film them all fucked up. Yes, I get the script from my doctor. My orthopedic doctor. I have a fucked up back, don't forget, and shoulder. That's where, again, the government, I've been saying for years, legalize it. We will take out any national debt we have in a heartbeat. Just fucking legalize it. It's easier. Schumer's actually working on it in the Senate. He's trying to get that, but we got so much other shit going on right now. But yeah, people are going to buy it anyway. Shit's, it's fun. Don't hurt anybody. I'm not out driving. I'd rather do that. I can barely drink. Ooh, better get that birthday gift, Patty. Because they only give you so much time, too, those fuckers. I think you got to get it in the month of your birthday. Because even with COVID, I remember going to, like, Sephora with the perfume thing. It was, like, over a year. I'm like, hey, we were in a pandemic. I expect this to still be, you know, of value. I, I still expect this free perfume. The girl's like, absolutely. I'm like, okay. I'm like, figuring, hey. I know Gina bought that, you know, and with COVID, everything was shut down. Oh, back to the COVID on India. They had a picture of whatever, this monument. You can see, you can't even see the sky. After lockdown, everybody went on a good old COVID lockdown for a while. Son of a bitch. They went back and took a picture and it was like the first time you could see the fucking sky. Bright blue, just like I would see here as I'm shooting in my mirror, taking pictures. And it was like, and that's where people love to go. Fucking gas was a dollar something or two dollars in 2020. And it's like, fuckhead. The whole fucking world was shut down. Yes, gas was very cheap. Of course, it's called supply and demand. Like nobody was going anywhere. So nobody's fucking driving. So of course the price went down. Ah, I see that constantly. And I just want to choke people when they go, on well, gas was this in 2020. And they'll, and they'll go, May or something. It's like, yeah, fucker. And we all went on lockdown in like March, April or some shit. And that's when the whole planet was like starting to clear itself. Mother Nature was just like, yes, get rid of all this fucking pollution. <laughs> oh, there you go. Marcia says there they can just get a script without the doctor, pay 300 See, at least I don't have to pay that. I just see my doctor. Even one time I made an appointment to see him because I figured I had to do it in person. He's like, girl, just fucking call me. Um, I don't think the edible, do they make me hungry? No, not really. And don't forget, there's different strains. So there's like sativa, that's like a daytime thing. And so usually I would eat the sativa ones, especially after getting my, I get a deep tissue massage. So it would just keep me conscious, but kind of help relieve the pain a little bit of that. And then the other ones I have, I'll probably eat the other one. Maybe, maybe tomorrow night. Of, it's just a, it's called indica, so that's like for the nighttime to help me sleep. And I do sleep well on them, but I can just smoke the joint too and I don't have to eat a fucking brownie. Yes, and that's where every state does it different. Like, yeah, I just go to the doctor. He has to go on the state thing, punch it in. I have to come back to the house. It emails me. I have to make sure I put in the same information. Of course, the state's like 100 bucks. 
oh, cool, here, you're approved. And of course I am. <laughs> but you get access to better shit, because Connecticut, it is technically legal now, but regular people cannot go to my dispensary. And just, you, you can't just come off the street and show up there and go, hey, I want to buy this. It's not like there's jars of pot and all that, like you see on shows or something. You walk in, it's just like a front office. There, you don't see shit. <laughs> So on that aspect, I think when they flip over, they're going to give the public access to only certain things, but us with the medical cards will get still access to the better shit. Because the state of Connecticut, it started at your amount monthly was two and a half ounces. And my jaw hit the ground at two and a half ounces going, what? That's a lot of pot. Now they've upped it to three and a half ounces. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> I don't smoke that goddamn much. No way. Oh, exactly, Laura. There are thousands of different strains of pot. But your main ones are like day, night, and then hybrid. And hybrid could be a mix of anything. You just mix any two pots together, you have a hybrid. You could take your indica and sativa and mix them together, and you have a hybrid. I can't even keep track of the different fucking names. Sarah said, Jacqueline's made a pretty good comeback from the lipstick thing. Oh, absolutely. I love her products. Like I said, when she launches that new shit at Ulta, I got Ulta points and money I'm just dying to use. I'm going to buy that new stuff. <laughs> Laura said, well, tell me, this is Indigo Paradise. And I'm like, is it good? <laughs> okay, take my money. <laughs> and even that's what I'm at the, on the online, I just laughed. And I think we're going to have delivery too. I think I saw that. I'm like, wow, talk about lazy. I mean, I just hit them on the way home from work. But it's like, oh, you know I'm going to have to have pot delivered. Just to say I've had pot delivered to the house. <laughs> okay. Maybe the driver just checks your ID. Because <clears throat> they have all my information. Like, I just you have to order it online. So it's like, oh, give me a cookie. Give me this. Sometimes I just buy the pre-rolled. I fucking play with all of them. <laughs> and sometimes they even give away, like, free shirts all the time. All kinds of fucking free shit. All right, ladies, my phone is going to fucking crash here any second. And yeah, we did almost, what, three hours? Yeah, 2.50. Yeah, as I start a little after eight. Love that I have a clock now. <laughs> ladies, love y'all. We always have so much fun. We'll definitely be here next Saturday, too. Every Saturday, as long as there's not some crazy shit show going on in my life. And I usually let you know by one of those shorts on here just to go, holy fuck, something's wrong. I couldn't, you know, film. There should be no problems. We'll be here next Saturday. We'll have something to play with. And obviously get ready with me. And maybe, like I said, Monday I'll play with some shit. We'll see. So we just, we just play here. We roll with it. <laughs> Literally roll with it. All right. Love y'all. Everybody have a safe weekend. Happy Father's Day to any of the dads out there. I don't know. <laughs> My dad's not around, so. Happy Father's Day to... There could be men, who knows. <laughs> but be safe, my friends. Oh yeah, you can grow your own. Certain states, they can have six plants. It's fun though, Marsha. Good night, Terry. I know the live went really fast tonight. Oh, you're welcome, ladies. I have a dad dog. Oh yeah, that's true, Greg's a daddy dog. <laughs> dad. Dog dad. <laughs> oh, fun. Now it's time to go smoke one. Actually, I gotta get all this shit off first and get rid of that catastrophe that's going on. Love y'all. See y'all very soon. Mwah. Bye.